Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Marvel Monday. Man, look at that. It's a weird energy in the room. It's so uh, hard to stay quiet during the intro. So we do the intro, we click the button, but yeah. then our mics have to stay on. Yeah. So, like, Zach and I got, like, the church house giggles sometimes. We're just sitting there, like... Yeah, trying not to make noise or squeak your chair or anything weird. Yeah. What's uh, up, Ben? Anyways, uh, how's everyone doing? I, I know you had a weird morning. Um, I had a strange morning, man. I, uh, I'm feeling... Tired. <laughs> yeah, it's Monday. Well, that's not a good sign. Uh, I have a heater of a weekend. Well, so here's the deal. The dealio. Mm -hmm. uh, vaccinations are great. Yeah. Right? Okay, well, here we go. Yeah. Let's um, get into it. Well, I'm not... I'm not <laughs> whatever your stance on vaccination is, <laughs> talk whatever. about Biden's America while we're here, huh? <laughs> sure. Uh, America. Um, you want to talk about Reagan and whether or not he was a good president? I feel like that's a good topic. Let's crack it open. Uh, no, but really... Got, got the vaccination myself and lots of my family members have. So uh, that makes me comfortable spending time with said friends and family now. Mm. But that means social things are coming back online and yeah. requests are coming back online. Like, kind of out of practice. And... Hey, it's your nephew's birthday. Are you available this Sunday for a birthday party? Now, this is a classic Zach Bunn reality here. I don't know if you guys know, but there's actually a nephew or niece's birthday every single weekend. It, all 52. It's crazy. Well, I don't know how it happens, but I caught, <laughs> and I'm texting. It's like, oh, I'm at a birthday party for my, my niece or here's, my aunt. You know, somebody. Here's the thing. I have three brothers, right? Yeah. I have a wife who has two siblings. Yeah. Between us, we have 11 nieces and nephews. That's right. So you almost hit 52 there. I mean, that's at least, that's about one a month. One if a you month? actually add in the brothers and the spouses, we, ca we, we did it just immediate family. Not even like cousins mm -hmm. or like, because her mom, my mother-in-law, is one of nine. Right. So I have a ton of aunts and uncles as well, and more and more of them are moving to Tulsa, and they have kids and so on and so forth. So you got a critical mass So here. you take out national holidays, right? You take out Thanksgiving, you take out Christmas, you take out New Year's, you take out Fourth of July, all that kind of stuff, and you just have core family members' birthdays, <laughs> period. It, it averages about one every three weeks. Maybe you shouldn't have got vaccinated. <laughs> you could have stayed More at home the whole year. You could have um, stayed at home and had a good time. Anyway, so this was easily my most social weekend in a year and a half. Um, with lots of kids running around screaming, yeah. you know, that yeah. kind of stuff. Um, Which I know you love, as I do. I, I actually do love <laughs> niece, my nieces and nephews. And, like, I like spending time with kids. But uh, usually I prefer, like, one or two people at a time. Right. You know, I'm, I'm right. a smaller yeah. uh, gathering kind of person. Anyways, so... Which is why it's so refreshing on these streams whenever you're here with, with me only. This you're, is you. you're one of your favorite people. That's right. I would I would argue ever. But, like, if I could choose to spend a time with a group of 10 or one person at a time, mm -hmm. 10 times in a row, I would pick the one person at a time. Situation. What if the one person was Hitler? Don't know that we would understand each other. <laughs> I'm not quite sure he Philosophers knew English. Philosophers strikes again. Could he speak English? He could, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, in, the, in the theoretical that has no meaning, yes, Hitler can speak English. <laughs> um, speaking of, I finished The Good Place. We'll talk about that at some point, Zach. Uh, oh, you just finished it? Yeah, like last ah, weekend. I didn't realize you hadn't finished That's why Robert was talking about this morning. Yeah. I was he like, insisted that's, that that's I cool. finish it because he wouldn't talk about it. He needed and someone with a big brand, to, a wet brand to talk to yeah, him about. Somebody who's nicely hydrated. Um, I mean, I don't. I'm not like exhausted or anything, but the combination of a busy weekend, taking my because I'm an introvert, so the social energy is just gone. And also, we're now on the collector again. Yeah, I know. You know, there's nothing more ramming up against this wall. There's nothing more exciting than having a nice long weekend full of uh, you know a lot of work, and in your case, um, a lot of energy, and you're kind of coming in wanting to. Take your easy ease into the week, and the best way to do that is to play a game that is essentially trying to take you out into the back alley and mm -hmm. beat you and toss you into a dumpster and say, wasn't that fun? I mean, I think the reality is it's not even trying to beat you. It's trying to just weigh down on you. Yeah. You know? Like yeah. it, it's one, When we were playing like Rhino 3, he, he just wanted to beat you. Very yeah, that's quickly. right. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It's like, oh, well, there's Rhino, you know, yeah, he's well, tough and he's charging again. again. Let's try again. Yeah. You know? This this just feels like you're like being covered in weight. It's interesting to engage in uh, game design, and I'd like to get the official like the designer's take on this. Maybe do an interview series at some point. But you know, whenever you're designing a game and you're thinking to yourself, can I design this in such a way that enough people will want to stop playing that I will just have less to do? 
You know, like maybe that's it. Oh, maybe in the game. Yeah. Maybe it's like, well, you know what? <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what the goal of all games that have ever gone crazy and off the deep end. Maybe the designers, designers just wanted yeah, over it. Just like let's tired. just make it so crazy, no one will play anymore. Yeah, they just got tired. Apparently, it gets worse too. I've heard uh, Ronan is like, uh, we think like you know, collectors like a, a pillow compared to Ronan. Well, I'm curious if Ronan is more like the Rhino Three challenge, mm. and more just like really aggressively beat you up. Versus Collector, which is like telling you you cannot play this game how you've ever played it. Yeah, Collector attacks the way that we have played the game. Yeah. Which I, fundamentally, which, which is fine. I actually really like. It's fine. Um, even today, so doing a little bit of reflection after last week, I think one of the big things he does is obviously he taxes cards leaving play. And all of my favorite, most efficient auto include cards are those kind of cards, right? Yeah. Allies, Nick Fury, particularly. You even have the leadership. Uh, I forget what's the upgrade that lets you get a hero back when it leaves play. Oh, rapid response. Rapid yeah. response. Like all the cards that I'm like, this is my favorite card. Yeah. Uh, you just can't. Can't. You can't it doesn't it. work. Yeah. Um, I think one of the biggest secrets to Collector Two. This is my hypothesis, and obviously we built around this. <laughs> is the reality that minions are actually the best things to flip, and leaving minions on the table for a while. Like, mm. even as an example, an, an ally blocking a one damage minion means that you don't put that minion here, which then you have to discard. Right. And then you can basically, like, like Rocket, as an example, who's one of the heroes we've been playing, I feel like setting up a bunch of minions, like, more than we're doing. Like, like if eight. there's, like, eight out there, yeah. and then you have your Gargantuan turn. But if you have your Gargantuan turn, you lose the game immediately. If you put eight in a thing, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's not but the like, best option. If we if we aren't taking them out, it'll be easier to keep this at zero yeah. or at very low. And yeah. then it's like get rid of six at once, and okay. like have a big moment, which we'll do. All right, we can try that. I mean, should I go back to the leadership deck? No, I don't think so. Not yet. I don't know. Didn't we rebuild these last time? Literally. Oh, like, okay. Well, then let's just play them. Yeah. So we're gonna play them. We do have the uh, Star Lord and Gamora pack here. We'll see. Also, Steven's gotta keep it. Keep today's timeline. Gotta tight. keep it tight. I had a we I've had a weird day, which is unrelated to the fact that well, it's actually related uh, because I did that thing. Maybe maybe you guys know more than I do. I I uh, I know cars by not by any grand design of the way that I was raised or educated, uh, but by just being around them enough. Now, thirty four years of being around cars, and it was I, I still I, know nothing. I did the thing this morning, and your car will do it sometimes, where you turn the key and it turns over way too fast. It's like instant, mm. and then it turns off. Uh, and then I and then I, I started going with the keys again, you know, and it, I did that for like a minute, and then it goes, and then it turns on, right? So I think my battery is probably drained, or there's some kind of a light drain on the battery somewhere. Mm. Um, so I needed to get my oil changed anyway, so I called and said, hey, can we do that today? And the appointment is scheduled, so I've got to get out to go do that. Uh, and they will probably have a lot to say about that giant bucket of paint that I spilled in the bed of my truck today. Yep, which is another interesting part of your morning. Yeah. Um, and that's, so here's what I'm thinking for the agenda for today. We're going to play these decks as built from last time. Okay. We're going to beat the collector on our first try. Okay. I'm going to be optimistic. OK. Yep. No, uh, I, I tried that last time, and it worked out very well. Win, lose, or draw. At that point, we'll take a look at the new pack. OK. And then there are new protection cards, there are new justice cards, there's new aggression cards, and new leadership cards in there. Cool. Cool. Um, so cool. we'll reassess if we want to change our decks, if we want to change our aspects, if we want to change our heroes. Because we they're all Guardians. We're playing yeah. a Guardians campaign. And maybe if we want to change our game, Zach. I maybe. Don't know, maybe. Maybe it'll just, maybe we'll just start Arkham. Or we'll just start Today. playing like Arena Rex on Mondays. Yeah, Arena Rex on Mondays. Can't, right. can't ever get bogged down on the <laughs> walker like, oh my god, what's going on here? Uh, How did this happen? Blank your at says, Skeleton Crew no more? Actually, uh, technically yes and technically no. Uh, we're still having the team, like Bryce right now is remoting in to be able to pop the cards. Uh, but we did remove the like hazard symbol from our YouTube thumbnails. That's right. Uh, because it's no longer COVID. It's not really a pandemic anymore. This is just the way life is. It's now our business. We're, we're now full-time influencers, so watch out Jakey, Paul, and have you, um, the gang. Have you seen the South Park episode with the YouTubers? Pudes. And it's like they're wanting to earn the theoretical money, and they have to go wait in the, the like line to collect the theoretical online Did you say South line. Park? Mm -hmm. No. They're with all the like viral video characters. Like oh, right the sneezing on. panda and like, oh, okay. whatever. Yeah, yeah. And that, that dramatic chipmunk. Or am yeah. I showing my age with that? Absolutely. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Um, but the, I am showing my age. they're at like a government agency of theoretical money 
and they're in line to collect their money that doesn't exist, of course. It's just classic. South Park was really yeah. good at that. I just say it was always too crude for my uh, to watch it in the company that I was with most of the time. BMX Racer earlier saying he's so happy to have discovered us, watched us play Champions, and has been playing it all month long. Well, great. Welcome. Also asking, should he get Red Skull or Galaxy's Most Wanted? Ooh. If you're new, don't touch Galaxy's Most Wanted. This is literally like going up to the Mount Everest on your first hike. Yeah, I, I think um, Red Skull is a great great box, when, especially when you're new. You get the uh, Hawkeye and Spider Woman. Spider -Woman. Uh, both great characters. Great to play, and also those five scenarios are really good as like an intro course. But if you love Guardians, if Guardians is like your favorite thing in Marvel, you gotta get the, the Guardians box. Yeah, because right. the Guardians box comes with Rocket and Groot, and then all the villains. You can play it on Standard and all that, that jazz. Uh, recap, we're playing on Expert. We each put the top card of our deck face up in the collection before we start. Um, oh, look at that. Beautiful Spider-Man. It just starts with eight. That's a fine card to have over there. Yeah, not gonna play it up front. And then he's at 28 health. This starts with 4, 12. Ray Murata's, uh random flesh and blood uh, question. Uh, on the Monarch decks, any way to get one of each instead of buying the display? So so our subscription is one of each, but that's already charged. Is he on that charge already? That, oh, it's already shipped. Yeah, it's already, shipped. It's already done, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's the best way going forward as far as how to get those now that the products are already released. I, I, I think most everyone's just going to sell them as a sealed product. We, right? we have them in stock as a sealed brick. Yeah. Because um, so, like busting that in half to send half of it uh, is a lot of work to just do on a routine basis. But get on that sub now, and then you won't have to deal with that problem later on. Yeah, uh, we're out of that sub right now. Get on that wait list. Get on that, wait get on that list. sub. Yeah. Uh, we're hoping to put that back in, because we do expect them to keep making those blitz stacks, and we, as we've seen, there are cards that, uh, like the foil young version of the heroes, and then the mentors that only came in those blitz stacks. It's also a great way to play that more like an LCG than anything else. Top down? Top down. Let's see how close I was. <laughs> well, when the camera's upside down and that, that big of an angle, it's hard to miss. So here, this is an example. We get a lot of people talking about, hey, uh, it confuses me that you guys are on the, the opposite sides of the, of the screen. Uh, so this wasn't a mistake. We actually just wanted to demonstrate this. So you see how <laughs> my hands are coming. Well from, in. You know, like Steven see, is like on, I'm the on the left. I'm on the left and I'm on the left right here. And this is what we want, ultimately. Uh, right there. But of course, then the world is upside down. So we... We opt to flip it to the other yeah, side. Which you'll now get to go on a tour uh, to flip it. Lanky asking, will new Ashes decks be released this month? So originally thought they would be May, I think, or April. Who knows? Uh, currently expected to be June. But uh, as has gone with all the Ashes products, not 100% sure. Boats are involved and pandemic stuff. So we'll ship those as soon as we can. We'll charge for those. You should, should get charged a couple weeks before they start shipping. And then we'll get those out to everyone as fast as possible. See all of our. You got anything uh, weird on that computer? We can't see nothing. I just don't don't dabble in weird. <laughs> it's the safest way. Josh says, "You guys playing constructed or sealed tomorrow?" I'm in for both. Just curious. Gonna keep doing sealed. I got some boxes. I'm waiting to burn through here. Are you gonna try to get them all open before the weekend? That's my goal. Yeah. I would happily open some on the weekend. Well, the other thing is, I'm gonna save save some on the weekend for playing some sealed. We're having a fabulous Saturday. Uh, little very small gathering. Don't tell it because some people might not be invited. A lot of people aren't invited. I can't invite everyone. I can only fit so many people in my my office. Is that is that look too white? I don't know, man. That's not even in focus. Come on, who's running the stream? Yeah. Oh. Didn't we have a checklist? I would have I would have lost my mind talking about people needing to have a checklist if they keep forgetting stuff like this. Yeah. It's so hello. Zoom and enhance. Zoom and enhance. All right, let's see how... Look at that Spider-Man, though. I love that Spider-Man. Okay. We're on the money right there. You gotta look at the text. Yeah, Christian, I looked at some of the cards from the Star-Lord and Gamora pack this weekend. Star-Lord did seem fun, and Gamora did seem amazing, so I think your comment is probably spot on. It's all about those triangles at the bottom. I could do this forever. Down here? Yeah, I could do it forever. Eat stuff. Uh, David asked, any plans for Marvel Champions weekend this summer or fall? So honestly, we'll see when the store opens. Um, we're working on that actively, and really us hosting anything is just based on... We'll start making plans once we have a better idea that we're going to actually have a space. It's about finding the right building. Yeah. My gosh. It's a process. you got to wait, because like, it's not like oh, the perfect building is just always available. you got to wait. Francis it's, it's, says, very, it's very unique, what we need here. You know? Is this even... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm familiar with our unique challenges. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. 
pain. I don't know why. Is this right? Do you need? Oh, you need a little more. What? Is that better? That's great. Uh, I'm, I got plenty of space. Okay. Put these caps down. All right, here. Let's see what we drew here. Let's take a look. Salvage. Good. Uh, who's playing what? Skilled investigator. Good. Wiccan. That seems good. We'll have. Um, let's have you go first for no good reason. Hey, this is an incredibly good hand. I told you, man. The one and done here. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. This seems really good. Huh. That's interesting. Where's my little raccoon? There he is. My little raccoon. Now we're gonna we gotta deal with this thing, right? Four, five, six, seven. I can do nine right there straight away. This is on twelve. Yeah. What madness is this? Gallery of Splendor, man. The expert version. That's what it is. All right. So I can't play Never Back Down on my first turn. So I'm definitely pitching that. I drew two doubles. Which I guess I can use one of those to pay to get rid of a card. Right on. So that's fine. I like fruition early because getting up to four growth counters seems good. But I really want to make use of this. I mean, it's hard to deny, isn't so it? So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and pitch this uh, just to try to give myself something to play, particularly like any of my uh, resource reducers. Well, check this out. So I'm definitely gonna play. I've got a plan. I think I'm going to play four Justice. I've got a Skilled Investigator here. So I can either play four Justice to remove four Threat, or I can play Wiccan, one Threat and a Body. Ooh, that's a tough choice, you know? It's a tough choice. Wiccan or four Justice? That's the, that's the question here. How many hells you got? Three? Mm-hmm. Is the four justice going to do anything super relevant for us? This is going to be removed nine. So if you can get three off of it somehow. Can't. Okay. Let's keep thinking then. The Wiccan's, Wiccan's the choice then, in my mind. Yeah. All I've got a plan for... You haven't mulliganed yet though, right? Five, I haven't, but I don't think I want to. Well, that's fine too. Play a skilled investigator. Mm-hmm. And then so I've the got, next round we'll clear this field draw card. That'll be nice. Yeah, I've got this card floating, and it's basically: Do you want this to be any other card that you probably won't play? Now, if you had an extra resource, we could clear one here. Okay, so I'll try to dump for a double, as they say. I like that. Who knows what you'll get? Actually, or anything that you can. No, that doesn't work. Quake. Eee. A new, a new moment. A new variable has entered the field. <laughs> huh? Uh, we're playing expert, Christian. All right. I'm gonna put these in my hand. Well, that's pretty fascinating, isn't it? Let's get to it. Nothing to it but to do it. Two growth counters. We're on a clock. I'm here to win. Yeah, right. And I'm right. all out of bubble gum. And I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm the first player. Yep. All right, well, well let me we'll just this up. get up into the moment here. Okay. Uh, I'll play a skilled investigator on me. Also, we either have to take three damage or put the top card of our deck in the and top card of our deck. Oh, right. We do the damage, don't we? Yeah. yeah. We just sign that. That's what I do. And then I recover it. And then I flip up. Yeah, I can't do that, though. Yeah. Can you block for me? I mean, it's what allies are for, right? I thought we weren't supposed to do that this time. Well, I, I mean, can't, I can't block. I'm, I'm playing protection. I'm okay. built to block for you. Literally, I made my choice of deck so that I can protect you. That's right, because this deck is strong enough to protect. It's worth protecting. I find myself in this position. Yeah, I did that with the Thor deck, too, where it's like, I just need someone that can you know, play Spider-Man, because I could keep people off of you. Quicksilver was doing that for you. Scarlet yeah. Witch. Yeah. That, it feels good. Don't you feel powerful? Oh, yeah. Both yeah. directions. I love Scarlet Witch. I'm going to mention that. I'm going to thwart for two. Here? Yeah. And then uh, I'm going to have a plan. Stand up and thwart for three. And I think I'm just going to tee that one up. Yep. I mean, there's no way that thing's cranking, right? I hope not. Uh, I am a skilled investigator. I wish I could do more. And then... I think I'm going to hold Quake and play Wiccan. No? Yeah. 
there's there's not there's not a lot here. It's all the same. Uh, why don't why don't we do Wiccan? Let's see what Wiccan's about. So we'll play Wiccan with a salvage, and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and go for it here. For it, remove one. Yeah. And then discard the top card of the encounter deck. How many boost icons do you One boost icon. Okay, we need one to the collector. Okay. A long road to glory. That's good value. I like it. Mine? Yeah. To recover. Flip. And let's play some things. I'm going to play a hard to ignore. Then I'm going to play a electrostatic armor. Up real quick, uh, asking about the boards dug and shocked that they were out of stock. Why are you shocked? Are you shocked that our products are so hot that we can barely stock them? Um, I don't know why I say a lot of the things I do, but I will tell you they are restocked pretty much weekly. Yeah, sign up for um, that waitlist. Sign up for the waitlist. They'll be here in no time. It will not be a long, long period of drought. I got counters earlier, Russell. It's an action I took on Steven's turn at my own liberty. Uh, I'm going to spend two, and we're going to. Get this card in my discard pile. You know, give me play. Spidey back. You, you gonna do anything with him? No. We'll eventually get there. End of turn. Done. Everything stands. You get five cards this time. Okay. Three. Exhaust. Move a charge. Right on. Three, four, five. All right, we, we're gonna we're gonna have some have some interesting things here. Okay, we're gonna do the bad stuff, right? Yep. Two thread on. Take your word for it. Uh, then he's gonna interact with you first. He's gimme, gimme. hacking. And I have to think about my life. Like I don't know that we'll ever restock the crisis corset. Those didn't move probably well enough for us to keep that going. Would be my guess. I guess I'm the guy that would know. You need to look at the numbers. What are you doing? Are we? Are you see attacking me? He is attacking you. Are we I'm playing Marvel Champions? I'm thinking about my life. Um, I can take two. I've done it before. Well, here's what I'm thinking. I have a preemptive strike. Mm. So. I can cancel the boost icons, but I probably don't block. Want to do that? I can either do that. I think I can play this now, even when he's attacking you. What does it say? Well, it says hero interrupt defense. When a boost card is turned face up while the villain attacks, cancel all the boost icons on that card. You absolutely can. Yeah, they they updated it where it used to not work, but now it does. Um, so or maybe it does. Do you? What are the odds that you're going to sh schadenfreude at some point? I mean, at some point when I draw it, I'll probably try. Because I'm just trying to think through the lanes. If I block for you, I'm just taking one of the teeth. Which is fine, because I can cancel the boost icons and take those two on the growth counters. Yeah. Um, but if you take the damage, I don't lose the growth counters. Which is what I'm thinking is worth doing. Because I can make sure it's only two by canceling boost icons, if needs be. You know what I mean? I do. Yeah, just protect me. I don't care. Just okay. don't let me die. He's attacking you. Yeah, I'm your. I'm just like an escort mission in a video game. You know? <laughs> two plus I'm running slightly faster than you can run. It's like, yeah, yeah it's stressful. Stop. Uh, two plus a boost. Yeah. Two plus zero. Okay, you know so you're taking two. Yeah. yeah. Which is the best of all worlds. Rocket has always been one of the best tanks in the game. That's right. Rockets are supposed to be the tanks, right? Uh, he's gonna attack me, and I'm gonna actually block. So I'm blocking at three. Uh, he gets a boost card, and it's a special. Put the Cyanic Ghost into play, engage with me. Oh, no. I would love it if the Cyanic Ghost didn't exist. Yeah, me too. Uh, so that's fine. I don't take any damage. So Electrostatic Armor, after I defend against an attack, uh, deal a damage to the attacking character. And that's not an exhaust that's ability. An exhaust. Yeah, then Hard crazy. to Ignore is, after I defend and take no damage, which I did, exhaust it, remove a threat from the main scheme. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got your engine up and running. Yeah. yeah and then good. this guy's going to attack me. Do you want me to block it? No, I was just taking on the growth counters. Yeah. Uh, and he eats my growth counters for launch. And then we get our bad cards, and you get a free one. Now, wait, what is this? Is this uh, is Space Ninja Pirate? Do we need to, do we need to take a, a moment to appreciate the defending rules? 
Uh, also, Jeremiah 5 here. A while back, we look at God tier. Have you looked at that anymore? Does Sky tier basically fill that role for you? Sky tier basically uh, totally overtook that game. Sky tier was what I was wanting God tier to be, if, if that's fair to say. Not to say that it's rant, wrong or bad. It's just not the game I was looking for or uh, we were looking for at the time. So apparently, I think maybe when you play Prince Sky, you become the defender and you take the damage. I don't know. We're no, not going to do it. I think it's just, <laughs> I think we're good. Caught off guard, discard an upgrade or support you control. Well, well that's easy. Otherwise, it would have gained surge, so that's fine ish. Monarch. Wait, what is this? How is this here? Infiltrate the museum? I've yeah. never seen this. That's in the deck. This is a real thing. Yep. How have I never seen this? We played this like three times. Just didn't ever get it. Huh. Well, I'm sure it's fine. On the hunt, surge. Choose either take two damage or discard a card at random from your hand. Take two. Right to the tree. Cloak of Hercules. Ta attach the enemy with the lowest attack. Well, it's, it's a tie. It's uh, plus, put it on the ghost. Plus then, three attack, you? though. So this is the most likely thing to Kill get defeated. That. Kill that thing. Yeah. Kill him. Uh, and then we're done. Pass the first player token to me. So it sounds like the player who plays Pyrrhon to Strike becomes the defender. Does that mean you then take the damage? Wait, you didn't play the Pyrrhon to Strike. No. So it doesn't matter, but it's right. interesting. I don't... I don't as far as I understand... You play a defense card, you become the defender. That's the new rule. The, the thing that I think changed is when it says, hero up defense, you're treated as a defender even though you're not the one taking the attack. I'm just saying, if, it, if that's how we think it works, it definitely does not work like that. All right, let's talk about our outs. Here, you want to first play there? Yep. All right, so my plan... This guy has, is a problem. Um, I'm going to play, get rid of that. Hey, let's, let's hashtag real talk here for a second. Okay. So I can do one, two, three, four, five. I can get five off of that. I just need one. Can you remove one? Yeah, that's exactly what I can remove. That's what I'm talking and about. It's perfect. And then I can block this attack for you. Well, so I'm thinking about rolling down to Alter Ego and uh, triggering the Quake that will be here to do two damage to this guy when he schemes. But Or you can block it. That's fine you know? as well. I don't know. We don't want to just lose, go to 20 kind of thing. But, uh, skill, yeah, that's right. This thing goes to the thing. Yeah. How can you collect a skilled investigator? It's a trait. Am yes. I wrong? No. It's a skill. I mean, how do you collect a skill? Training? A lot of you, at you attend or you demi. What is that service? You, you demi? For skill the, here? Yeah. I know what you're Skills talking about. Skills here? Top towel? I'm, I'm a hip. Um, oh, it doesn't discard. Wait, does it doesn't discard? What does it say? Why, is, why, is, why didn't the game work like I wanted to? What discard and upgrade for you control. So... It, if I discard an upgrade or support, it goes to the collection, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When a card would be placed into a discard pile from play, yeah. Put it face up. Um, Fate Breaker, that's honestly a good point, Stephen. You can feel the surprise in the chat, can't you? How am I agreeing with this madman? <laughs> yep. Uh, what? Are, are you dealing with this guy? Am I dealing with that guy? You're not, are you? I can do some amount of damage depending on what Wiccan's up to. Mm. Wiccan will do zero to three damage to that guy. And we won't know until we know. Is there any event in your hand that would be playable if you had one extra card? So, for instance, if I put a skilled investigator on you, and then during my turn I cleared that. That would actually be weirdly helpful. All right. It would let me clear a card out of here that I wouldn't otherwise get to clear. That's that's better than what I can do. Otherwise, I have nothing. a dead card, which is what I was looking at. Okay, okay I'm going to play a Starhawk. I'm going to thwart for one. If he takes damage exactly equal to his health, he bounces it to my hand instead of leaving play. The defense allies are kind of built for the collector, are they not? Yeah. And then I will pay one to play a second hard to ignore. It's exhausted currently right now. Thing. And then I will pass to you. I'm not going to go down. Okay. 
much as I would like to. Let's put a skilled investigator on you. Great. Let's play Power of Justice for Quake. Let's pay one for some thruster boots to get plus one thwart and aerial. Let's thwart. Let's start with Wiccan here. Thwart for one here. Give me that top card. Hit me with three. It's a three. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You get a three to someone? Yeah. Wow. Can you get rid of this guy? I mean, I can do three to it, yeah. as we have covered already. You have one floating somewhere? Or do you need it all to do this? I need it all to do that. It's my whole hand. Uh, let's see. He's a five. What have we done? What does electrostatic do? After I defend, deal a damage to the character. Mm. Do three to this guy. I'll, that's how we'll finish him. I'll take a hit. Or, or we could put three here and settle seven healthy up for a slam a jamma. Like then it's two quake, two quake, you know, kind of a, uh -huh. it's kind of a thing. You, you, you do it however we want. Well, you you get to make a choice. I don't know. I don't, yeah. Let's do this guy. I right. mean, if this guy's not off the table, what's the point, you know? Well, as if he's hitting five and he would go away if this hits. Can you defend the I can, five? I can block him. Yeah, let's kill him. He's out of there. Quake and a thwart for one. Take one. And of course, call me in the morning as you you and I both know. Uh, I see I'm using allies again. See, it's the same problem as always. Uh, three here, you get to draw a card from Skilled Investigator. Does this go to the collection? Yeah, it's victory. Yeah, that's victory. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a hero action, pay two, and clear whichever one of these you want. You drew an bottom. energy? Yeah. Wow. Not really what you needed, is it? It's fine. This stays in my hand, I guess. Um. Okay. And then I've got to decide if I want to roll down to Funky Town, as the kids say. Now, oh, he actually is villainous, so he gets a card. He's crazy. Is, that's so good. Why do they give us a villain to, to fight against when we already have a villain to fight against? Know. He's unique, so I assume there's one of them in the deck. Yeah, but he's still going to go to the stupid collection. Yeah, and we'll leave him there. I think I'm just going to have to soak it with Wiccan or something. Oh, wait. On the gallery, when the each player must place a random card from their hand face up in the collection. Wait. That's what this does. Wait. Uh. Okay. I can't. Who's laughing now? Yeah. Because I drew a two. All I can't right. I can't overpay for that ability, right? With a one and a two. You could. Yes, you could. Cause I could do this to pay for that card I got rid of. But it's the wind defeated that triggers the thing before you get the skilled investigator, probably. Oh, so I actually would have lost this card before I drew this one. Yeah. Which is nice that I drew this one. That's actually very fortunate for us. Guys. <laughs> That's actually very fortunate. So this said, when after a side scheme is defeated, what does that say? When defeated. When defeated probably happens before after defeated, right? I presumably. It worked whatever, out either way. Whatever a squirrel can do to a tree. When the squirrel climbs the tree. One thing is for after. sure. Oh, it's random. So if I do have to have it in my hand, that could be a problem. You wouldn't have drawn it yet. Yeah. So yeah. then this goes here and I use this to clear a card. Yeah. Okay. We did it. Great. All of that to just tread water. And then uh, I'm going to stay up. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And Wiccan's going to the discard pile. Yeah, you got some value you now. It's really good. Blank saying we could overpay for Starhawk so that nothing goes to the collection. Hmm. Would have been. But we didn't know that. We weren't thinking in those yeah. terms, were we? No, we did. We're not. Okay. Um, first things first, two on. And then he's going to attack me. So I've got to make a choice. This guy's going to attack him? Big, big, big guy's attacking. Are you defending if you're not defending? If I'm being the attacker, I am the defender. If I play a protection event while I'm not being attacked, I'm also counted as a defender. Right, okay. But if a card says while you are defending, 
You're not defending. Okay. Unless you're actually the one blocking. Or are you being attacked? Are you defending if you're being attacked? Even if you don't turn sideways, are you defending? I don't know anymore. What else are you doing? I mean, what are you just taking it? I think you are you are considered the defender if you're the one being attacked. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm with that. But you can switch the defender by exhausting. Like electrostatic armor, does it trigger by block? Or does it trigger by don't block? I think it question. must, right? After you defend. No, you didn't defend, though. It's undefended. An undefended attack. You would have to defend to get electrostatic armor. I quit. I don't know. Somehow we can play flesh and blood just fine, and yet Marvel Champions is like reading hieroglyphics. Uh, you will have to defend that attack by turning sideways and using your green defense ability. To be considered the defender. To, to be electrostaticing. That's fine. I'm, I'm not going to defend. Or you could use a defense ability. I'm not going to defend against this guy. Yeah, two, two coming at you. So two... Plus one, three. I'm going to take three. Easy. Then the cyanide ghost is going to attack me. And I'm going to play Desperate Defense. Block for five. Pitch here. Um, I don't take any damage, so a few things happen. One, we're going to move two threat from the scheme. Electrostatic armor will trigger. We'll do one here. Now I know he goes to the collection. I presume this attachment also goes oh, to the collection. Oh, of course it does, man. It's or a collector, man. Or is it being discarded? I don't know that that's being discarded. What is it? What is it doing? Well, it's attached. So it is it going to evaporates. a wormhole, or is it dark matter now? And then I read it because I didn't take damage. That's right. Um, and then he's attacking you, so I'm going to block this. Oh, really? I can send Wiccan to the graveyard. I think I, I, it's better for me not to do that. I got pain on my forearm still. I still just don't. I mean, is there a better use case for Wiccan here? Just keep him on the board. His best move is thwart, and then. Uh, well, you're gonna have, someone's got to block that, right? Someone's got to block that. Maybe I block that. Well, it's the same difference, isn't it? Two plus a card. Right. Matter. All right. So let me. Why don't, don't Wick and block the collector? You block Star Stalker. It's the same difference. It's literally matter. the same. So what do you want to roll? Roll the dice. Just, yeah, it's just a choose your own adventure. All right, I think the collector is going to get the lower. All right, block with Wiccan. Card. Wiccan going to block it. Two plus special deal of damage to each character you control. That was a good block. Wait, does it now come right through? If he's dead, I have no idea. Oh man, look at this board wipe though. Bada boom, bada boom. I think it might come through, man. I think I might be toast here. And then I'll take one here, each character I control, and now I'm almost certain it's undefended. Yeah, so you're taking two. Two more coming at me. Okay. And then I'll block your uh, Monarch's Star Stalker. That's right. Two plus two, taking one, but then he's taking one back from my electrostatic armor. That's right. Cool. And now we get our bad cards. Yeah, the good thing is I'm built up pretty nicely. <laughs> Looks like it. Servant bot. Let's party. An obedience potion. I'm a, I'm a minus one to all my stats until I... Have, until I have brain time. Okay. And then this passes back to you. Mmm. Feeling great. Feeling good. Feeling great. Man, I've got a plan not being a thwart event. That's annoying. <clears throat> okay. Well, I need to build, don't I? Well, aren't you? Interesting. Yeah, what do you think, man? We need a way to confuse them. I have those cards in here. Yeah, so someone can go down. I'm going to pay two for a sense of justice. I have the sense. One per player. Um, I'm going to have to roll down. and I can't just be doing all of this. So I'm going to do a sense of justice... And then, well, let me make sure the math works on this. So I've got a plan that's going to be one, two. Not enough. So sense of justice, pitch I've got a plan to play for justice for four. Cool. Two, three, four. Oh, wait. 
I didn't calculate that. So this plus one and this minus one cancels out. So it would be five. OK, yeah, that's right. And then two more for here. All right. Hey, that's that's good. This is good news. Yeah, and then I'm going to roll down to, I'm rolling down. OK. I think I might also roll down. Yeah, dude, let's just see what, what's the worst he's, thing he's he can do. Because he's at three, so we'll just let him tank up the stuff, and then we'll roll back up and take care of it. Yeah, I think that's a fine, fine play. I mean, you're, you're, you're a tournament player. I know that we played in some tournament, you know, some competitive card game tournaments for this before. You know, do you ever, you ever, like, sit in there, like, halfway through your, your match, and you look up at your opponent, and you look down at the board, and then you say... We're not going to, I'm not going to win. I'm just slowly losing. And then you're like, but I don't want to bail out because this person has deserved the pleasure of beating me. Is that how you feel right now? Oh, yeah. I, Except the collector doesn't deserve it. I I actually feel okay. This being at three is something we've never experienced. You're an optimist. Yeah. So It's very, it's charming. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going to play a root stomp, <laughs> doing five to the servant bot. There we go. Getting a growth counter. If I have overkill, any any benefits from overkill? I just get, if I get rid of them, I get a growth counter. Okay. So I wish I could fine. give you my ability. But. Uh, then I'm gonna flex down and get two more growth counters. That I I really need an opportunity to go down. Good. Well, we next it. round I'll heal and get two more growth counters. We got there. And we get bigger hand size. So we got there. We'll uh, we'll see what's up. And I'm gonna leave Starhawk just just how he is, um, in case I ever need to bounce him back to my hand. Hey, this is uh, looking up. I'm telling you, man. Mm -hmm. I got the beats. I'm certain it's going to get better before it gets worse. Same song, different verse. You know the the big problem I'm having here is that um, uh, well, we'll get to it. Okay, two thread on. I can't use my tech discard ability. Yeah. That you is know? a problem. Because he just collects it, and so your net gains are actually uh, almost non-existent there. Yeah. Uh, he's going to go against you first. He's scheming. Okay. Yeah, bring three it Three plus. If there are six or fewer cards in the collection, put the... There's not. So it's just three. Three goes on. One. Two, three. That was the inconspicuous bot. Hmm. Uh, then he's scheming against me for three plus one, so four more. One, two... Oh, and then technically, three, four, and then he's got a two this, flip. That would have been three. So then this would have been your flip. How much more do I put on you? Minus one for now. But then now he's scheming against me for three plus two, so five. One, two, three, four, five. Sixteen cash. Middle of Miami. Okay. Then you get a bad card, and I get a bad card. You're first. Me first. A servant bot. I can't. I can't thwart. That seems fine. Uh, I get stay a while. Yeah. Choose to either spend two physical resources or put the top card of my deck face up in the collection. Let me look. Um, mm -mm. Two cards. Well, I guess this is the best play. I'm going to use Onrush to cancel it. What is that? That's my upgraded card. When a card is revealed from the encounter deck, cancel the effects of that card and discard it. Okay. So I have to lose this card or two cards. So... About that. Okay, end of round. This passes. Yeah. And let's look at it. Is that hero interrupt? That usually is. It is a hero interrupt. So. You're doomed. Nope. Fine. I'm going to spend it plus another physical. To get rid of it. Ah. It's fine. It's cool. Actually, hold on. That hurts. Okay. Uh, back to me. I'm going to use my ability to get two growth counters. I'm going to recover for four. I'm going to flip. I'm going to play... Here comes the money. I can feel it. Deft focus. This guy being dead is going to be important. Well, yeah, it's, it's not important. I've got it. I'm going to use deft focus to play a vine shield so I can lose a growth counter to get plus three defense. 
Okay. Which is extremely Yeah, you want that. Handy. That's that's kind of the point, isn't it? Yeah, and then I have Bugatti prepared. So Bugatti preparation. I've got I've got defense on tap. I'll say that much. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna have to be healing myself. Yeah. Hardly hardly a real heal. It's almost worth a downtime. Yeah, but then you gotta play it. Yeah. It's a problem with downtime. Also, I'm just in the obedience portion. I'm just sitting here doing my thing. <laughs> okay. So then let's do Pay three for a stealth strike. Okay. Who's obedient now? Four damage to the servant bot. He goes to the fun zone. And then remove two threat from a scheme when I defeat an enemy. Also overkill. So draw a card. It's the money. The money. The money. Pay him. Okay. So I can't really get rid of this, or we're like almost done. Mm -hmm. How many we got there? Ten? Uh, three, six, seven, eight. Two away? Yep. Okay. That's fine. It's totally fine. Um, should I be paying attention to these? I mean, is it more important to drop a card or to build? I think you have to do as much of both as you can. Oh, both. So I don't I don't think it's a good answer to that. Of course. It was always about both. So, so here's the number one uh, thing. We're gonna play multitasking with sense of justice to remove two threat from a scheme. Okay. Just trying to do my part here. Doing a great job. Yeah. And then uh, all that you choose. We're going to roll a die. We've got two options here. We're not going to overanalyze. Odd, I'm going to get rid of the collection. Even I'm going to build. Odd. Salvage to get Quake back. Mm -hmm. We're getting Quakey back. Yeah. And you're going to use Salvage? Yeah. Get a tech on top just to waste some time. Daniel says, hello from London. I've been watching your videos, but it's the first time seeing you live. Welcome. Glad to have you. I guess it would probably be more pleasing to the audience if I did this. More pleasing to the eye. And then I've got these cards that I can't play. I went against my worst judgment. I'm not doing that. Quake's back in. This is back in the discard pile. And instead, I'm playing a cybernetic skeleton. I like that. And then I'll pass. OK. And then I will put this back in myself. So then we've got one, two, three, four, five. All right, we're cooking now. Oh, man, now we're cooking? Here now we go, dude. we're cooking. I'm, I'm feeling it. Can't come back if you were never on the ground. That's right. All right, start of the round. We're going to put two threat on. Then he's going to attack me, to which I'm going to play an interrupt. I don't forget about little mini villain right here. Either. I do declare. Um... Let's play pay one to use never back down. No, that's my favorite. When I defend, I get plus two, so now I'm at a five. If I don't take any damage, I stun the attacking enemy. So he's at two. It's the card, man. Plus one. I don't take any damage. He's stunned. It's not a su superpower, is it? No. It would be awesome if it was. Wouldn't matter. Uh, hard to ignore. After I defend and don't take any damage, I'll remove two from there. Electrostatic armor will go ahead and ping for one. we got a long game ahead of us, but it's happening. Yeah. Do they go to the they don't go to they the collection? To, they, do they? No, they go to my discard okay. pile. Um then he attacks me, stunned. Then he tries to attack you, he's stunned. Then this thing is attacking you. That's right. Do you stand up or anything? You didn't have I, to stand I don't stand for that, no. Stand for what? Um I can uh I can I, definitely block. I got it. three extra hit points, man. I mean I'm I'm large and in charge right now. I got twelve hit points to burn through. He'd have to do seven to kill me. Not possible. Yeah, that's not likely. No, it's not likely. Um, that's up to you. Yeah, I'll take it. Bring it on. All right, two you plus. You have something to do, I mean. Yeah. Two. There goes Shadows of the Past, though. Good. How about that? Taking four. One. Two, three, four. Now, if something gets rid of my cyber skeleton, that will be really funny, and then I'll just die. Ah! 
It was holding me all bones up. All right, bad cards? Yep. Need the Cosmos. Wonder if I'll choose one. Put the highest cost card in my hand in the collection, or just discard the highest cost card from my hand, then place threat on the main screen equal to its printed cost. I will do that one. We're going to put two threat on this. It's all? Yep. A crystal ball. That's great. Three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, whoever defeats it gets to put a card into play at minus three cost. <gasps> There's them rocket eyes. But it, oh, it's victory. That's good. So this is a helpful one. Yeah. A yeah. lot of those are strict. They're a good effect with victory. Um, so they won't even go over here. Okay. Uh, that passes to you. Okay. Wait, I'm the first player again? Yeah, I just passed it back you over You did here. it already? Yep. Sneaky. How does that happen? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, well, I was supposed to do this, yeah. Um, I'm. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Interesting hand here. Let's just think for a second about how this could work. I've got all eyes on that crystal ball now. <laughs> just like Rocket would do, man. That's great. A lot of eyes on that crystal ball. I think there's one thing I'm definitely going to have to do. I'm going to use this sense of justice, and I'm going to play multitasking. Mm -hmm. Two here and two here. Perfect. Yeah. Multitask. Consider it multitasked. What's up, Amon? How's it going? Well, about the same. Okay. Now we're just not, we don't have the money to shot him for it and do anything interesting. It's not funny. Scott, happy, happy to be able to do that. Saying he's watching from the hospital room. Thanks for keeping his spirits. Oh, up. very great. Hope you're doing all right. Very great. Oh, I'm just one off. Do you have any events that clear threat? Mm -mm. Can you use the crystal ball? Mm -mm. I mean, I maybe. So like one thing I could do is attack for two here. He does two to himself, so he bounces to my hand instead of going away. Then if I clear the crystal ball, but he would have to be the one to do it, right? So that's not going to work. It ain't going to work. Hmm. Well, nothing here is good. I'm on the, all the wrong stuff. Enemy is defeated or moved. Do you have any way to do damage to him with an event? Uh -uh. I'm protection. I spent my hand on the fast turn. It looks like I might be on an old-fashioned clear the deck. So just for our friends at home here. So you've got a rocket launcher, which really you want to get in with the crystal ball. Yeah. you got a close call to cancel a boost effect. So maybe just hold that. Schadenfreude, but then you can do nothing else with it. And then a stealth strike, which is also an expensive three, but not enough damage to kill him and remove move threat. Yeah. So you can play a 3 for 4 damage card, which is bad. You can play Schadenfreude and Punch, which is heal 2, do 1. Also bad. You can do nothing with this card. Or you can just play a Rocket Launcher and then do 2 to the villain in each minion. So 4. Now if there's a way to get both of these in, yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame too. You're Are you missing the card? Oh, you played the card. You played the, uh, yeah. the multitasking. Because it's could, almost like... If you can get the rocket launcher in play and keep the shot in Freud. Yeah. But unfortunately, even having multitasking back, uh, you can do these three to play the rocket launcher, sit on it, and the next turn pay two yeah. for shot in Freud is your best bet. Now, which could be okay. Another reasonable thing to do would be using this and this to clear this, and then using two cards to clear one a card. Yeah, just have a turn. Just to get that out of here. I think that's, a, let's just do that, man. Let's just clear everything. Clear the world. Uh, two for the potion, but this goes to the thing, right? Yeah. And then we'll immediately... Use the other two. Use the other two. Sure. Yeah. Got to build that board, you know? That's really what yeah. it's about. And I think I'm going to have to use one here as well. Boom. All right. I'm going to have to protect you this round. Nothing but wins. Let's go two here. Okay. And then, yeah, we'll protect. All right. Um, I'm literally just going to spend two cards 
and we'll put Wiccan in your discard pile. End of round. Now next round, that's going to be pretty interesting because I also have a card draw coming off of that. That's right. Your old buddy Rockets, got it. It's all coming together. Mm -hmm. Man, I thought I would draw that gun for sure. Two hands left, I guess. Until I see it for certain. It is three thwart, yes, thank you. That's a shame. It's all a shame, man. It's all a shame. Hmm. Are we are we back to the hard part? Yeah. Uh, two threat goes on. He is attacking you. So I am going to... You need double block. Next turn, I will be able to ready you. That's good information. Oh, man. Rocket. Everybody should absolutely keep in mind. Did we do this, the accelerator? No. Keep in mind that, uh, that bet that Zach and I made about Rocky Raccoon. He brought the donuts today. That was on it. A bun always faces that. I've always said that. Oh boy. You can hope in one hand and. All right, he's attacking you. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna block that. Awesome. Um, we're gonna block it with group. I'm at three. Let's go ahead and. Here comes that vine shield, right? Make it a six. Divine shield. He's gonna flip two plus two. I take no damage. We'll remove two from the scheme. He'll take a damage back. Is it the main scheme only? Yeah. Luckily, I wouldn't want to quit right now. Twenty-four times of that, man, and he's done. We're off to the races. I think I'm gonna block this with Starhawk. Okay. Because you can't. Now is he? Who's is he attacking me again? No, he's attacking me after that. Oh, that was for me. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's very nice. So I'm gonna block him here. Hope for a zero. It's a special. Put Sionic Ghost into play. So he'll take two. He'll bounce to hand. That was a good. That was, that was fortunate there. Yeah. Look at that ghost. Uh, but then now I have the ghost, which is going to be fun. It's like um, Sionic. Sionic was always busted in Pokemon, too. You know? <laughs> this guy's for uh, two guys. Ghost yeah. type Pokemon? Is yeah. Sionic? Yeah. Is the, the ghost will always get you. That's Abba's always the problem. Not Abba. Um, collector is going to attack me for two plus zero. So I'll take two off the growth counter. And I do believe I didn't take any damage. So my electrostatic armor triggers. <laughs> Were you off. defending? I am the defender, I think. Were right? you defending, though? You might be the defender, but were you defending? I have no idea. Jack can give correct him some, me. Give him some damage. Uh, Sonic Ghost is attacking me. Takes these away. And we'll just assume it's one damage, but we'll see if that's wrong. Yeah, then armor. And then we go to the bad cards. Hope you Creek said justice and protection is the worst combination for this scenario. We, were, we thought we were playing the worst last time. They're all the worst. Advanced, the villain schemes. Could be worse. Three plus there's not. There's more than six, so nothing happens. Three goes on. One, two, three. Badoon Headhunter. Victory oh. two. Villainous. You already have a th oh it's a different Badoon. Yeah, it's the, it's the big bad Badoon. All right, end of round. This passes. Thanks for playing. Yeah, you have to defend. Yeah, you need to exhaust your play a defense card to give them damage there. I'm gonna be honest. The U rules and the defense rules in this game, <laughs> I'm I'm one. It says it right there. It says if you're defending, you weren't defending, were you? But they've changed what it means to be defending. No, you're just getting punched. I don't think we've ever changed it. They just never clarified it. It's it's it's, uh, it's never been clear. One derivative away from me not ever wanting to play again. <laughs> it, it's that almost frustrating. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm first player. Do you have anything that removes that? Believe it when I see on it. On this turn. Me? It, just like out of nowhere. No, it, it gets me a card, is why I'm I asking. do not have that. So I want to save a... I assume you're going to clear it, so I'm going to plan on that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can. Do you want me to stand you real quick? Oh, yes, please. There you go, Flora and Fauna. Get you some standees. And two tokens, right? And two growth counters, that's right. Okay. So here's a question for you, my friend. Um, do you need that? 
Discount? No, I, wait, what discount? The crystal like, ball? If no, I, clear I can the actively ball? not use it. And okay, I, great. I don't want it at all. Well, I will use it effectively. <laughs> all right. Very, very effectively. Uh, hey, on your turn, can I call for an action? Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to discard a, you know, a, one of these cards here. You want okay. that one or this one? You can have Spidey. All right, Spidey's back in the game. Over to you. All right. Um, so I do that, 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 that. I have one, so I may as well do that. Okay, check. I mean, it's going to be interesting. I'm not dealing with any of this, but I'm yeah, just yeah. acting we like We said we weren't thing. going yeah. to. He's only know. a one. He's villainous. That's the problem. They're all, yeah. I'm going to play a Starhawk. He's going to move, remove one. Wow, you're doing this the old-fashioned way, aren't you? Yeah. I'm going to use Groot. I'm going to remove one here. Uh, it goes to victory, and I get to play a card at minus three. That's right. And you get a skilled investigator. I did, I did not discard that. Get you, get you skilled um, investigator. Yeah, and skill investigator hits. I have, I have a plan. Um, so minus three to something. I'm gonna play. Ninety five. I got three off of the, uh, off of the side scheme. It was just out of order. It was because I had the obedience potion, and then I, I, it was giving me minus one, and then I, went back and did it better. I'm gonna play an iron fist for one. Oh. oh, comes into play with two mystic counters. When I he attacks something, Fist, he can yeah. do a damage to it and stun it. Yeah, that's right. Who's laughing now, collector? So I'm gonna attack the collector. You don't want to attack that headhunter or something? For I mean, for two, lose a mystic counter. We'll do two plus an extra damage and a stun. Nice, stunning. Yeah. And then choices. I did. I, I probably did say thwart for two ninety five. I'm gonna. Somebody caught me. I'm gonna pitch afterwards. two and discard this. Okay. Yeah. Look at collections. And all it is is just minions. Nobody cares about minions. Right. Yeah. It's just seven health. Beavers. Villainous minions that attack yeah. as as hard as the villain. Yeah. It's cool. I'm not. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm gonna give myself heroic intuition. I've got a sense that all something's right. wrong. You love to see it. I'm going to throw it for four. Okay. I like and, that. And then I think I'm dropping. Okay. I mean, this is like probably the end of the game because it's like three to four, three to four. Um, I mean, I'm going to remove two. So the first player? Yeah. We might just make it out. Let's roll. Right? I don't know how else. I can't just sit on this. I, unless you can block this Star Stalker. You got so much to block, though. Probably. Yeah, I mean, he's stunned, so that's at least one attack that's gone. We gotta take some heat off Yeah, I think you going down makes sense. Yeah, all right, we're going down. All right, let's try again. See what happens. Now I'm gonna get a gun here. That big, the actual particle cannon. Yeah, there it is. And both pistols. Wow, all the high-cost stuff all at once there. I really could have used a better spread on that. Can I get, like, a consistent random? All right, the Matty P special. Okay, uh, we're gonna put two threat on. Oh, my beat cop! Come on, game. Uh, he's gonna try to attack me, and he fails. Then these guys are gonna attack me. Um, I don't have to block for you, so I will block. Did we add the stuff at the beginning? Yeah, I did that. We did on. He's gonna attack me. These clear. I don't take any damage, so I'll remove two. Is that if you're defending only? After your hero defends, so it doesn't count. Yeah, you gotta defend to do that, yeah. I'll take those two and not take damage. Then okay. this guy attacks. Uh, I'm gonna block for three, and uh, he's flipping. So one plus one, I don't take any damage. What he is... takes one back. Yeah, okay, and bind shield only when you're defending, too. Yeah. That takes it. Uh, that's clear. Done. Easy. Then he's scheming against you. All right, collector, three plus. Silent Ghost. Yes. There's another two scheme there. Two. Three. We need a zero. Hit me with a two plus. Plus one. One. Two, three. And if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be a two scheme. Game over. Okay, we did it. We did it indeed. All right. But, you know, I. that was a slightly more pleasant, obvious loss from turn two. I guess, in the grand scheme of things.
We're going to need to rethink our strategy here because this is not going to work. It's never going to work. We could run the simulation a thousand years, my friend. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> there it is. It's the reckless hope that I need, really. <laughs> Otherwise, I just won't ever come into town again. <laughs> he was never seen again. You want to try the exact same thing again? Is that what you're saying? I'm not saying that, necessarily. <laughs> I want to look at these new cards really quick. Do we on, have those yet? Let's see if we got them. I haven't gotten text yet, so I don't think we have them yet. I think we should just do this again. Okay, I'll play it one more time. Yeah, let's just prove it. Because, like, I got Particle Cannon... All the three costs at the very end there that, you know, it's just a bad, it was bad luck. It wasn't anything about the deck builder or the player. Surely not. It was just luck. Just raw luck. Raw luck. What's impede? Is that from the new stuff? Probably something in the new pack, yeah. Well, I don't have the new cards yet. So. What does impede do? Did we look at it? I have no idea. Impede. It gets in somebody's way. Impede. Anyway. I think the Rocket Leadership deck was the best version of this deck. Yeah. And maybe it's just... Uh, maybe it's just the fact that you don't ever... Block the big attack. I did the classic protection problem. What's that? I drew all my events when I couldn't block, and I drew all my not event events when I needed them. Look at this hot sauce draw, though. Grant says impede cost two, thwarts for three, and then goes back to hand. does seem good. All right. Check this out. I've got a I've got the opening that I'm happy about. That's it. I'm not going to mulligan anything. I'm I already mulligan. We'll gonna, make you first again. I'm going to confuse the vi the villain. Perfect. I'm going to deal 3 damage to the villain. I'm going to play a particle cannon. I'm not going to use it. But otherwise uh nothing of interest is going to happen really. That's fine. Are you going to stay down? I reckon I can. Yeah. If he's confused, someone may as well. Yeah. Or we can save it for when we need That's to That's true. I like that idea. Be better. scared yeah. later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That way I can at least get two off of the off of the little side schemer there. Okay. Uh all right. Uh this is what I'm doing. Playing a particle cannon and then playing concussive blow. It does damage though? Confuse three damage, yeah. And then uh, Particle Cannon coming in with two counters on it. All right, well. Let's... And then I'll go ahead and take the three damage up front and then recover it. Okay. From the little collector ability. I'm also going to recover. Get two growth counters. Now the top card goes into the collection. I'm just going to do that now. Yeah. Uh, hard to ignore. Unflappable. Mm-hmm. Build it up, Buttercup. And Vine Shield. Boom! No, here action is Concussive Blow, that's true. I'll have to be up here. Yeah, I thought you would flex up. We're going to save that, Yeah, it's that, fine. Right? Yeah, it's fine. Um, that's great. And I, I'm flipped up as well. I need more money. I'm with you. It's the money. Okay. Uh, two threat on. Then he's going to attack you. Uh, good luck proving it. We're going to let it happen? Yeah, bring it on. Come on. Two plus special. Is oh, that that ghost? Die on it, ghost. I actually don't mind seeing the ghost when I got this gun in play. All right, so you take two from the collector. And then I'm confused when he's revealed there. Is he revealed? No, no he's not revealed. He's not revealed. There. No. Two from the collector. Yep. Two coming at me. And then you'll take two from the silent ghost. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Classic. Just a quick four to start. Um, and then he's going to attack me. So I will go ahead and block. I'm at three to his two. We'll flip a card. He gets plus three. I'm going to pray him to strike that. Cancel the three. I can do three to something. Yeah, just anything? To the villain. Yeah. So he takes three. We're already ahead of where we were last time. I don't take any damage. 
So unflappable, hard to ignore. And then we'll go to the encounter card. Game over, man. We've got it. Uh, oh, the encounter cards. Uh, Dang it. Yeah. It's always the encounter cards go. that get me. Servant bot. And a Badoon headhunter. Ooh, nice. That rocket's going to be a... Well, I can't kill these things, though, right? Isn't that the whole point? Ooh, silent ghost. How about I get confused? Nice. A little four minion flip, or flip around. That's a different situation. You'll flip and dip. All right. This passes to me. Well, let's just see what we're capable of. Now, someone can go down. You are unlikely... We well, can't take either, so we got to figure this out. Um... Interesting, interesting. Okay. Well, let's do this. I've got some I've got some play here. Um good. I'm first, so I'll just go ahead and do my thing. Yeah. I'm gonna play two hard to ignores. All three out. Turn two. Very cool. Let's okay, go. you can't be ignored. Okay. I'm a tree, dang it. I'm a tree. Rawr. <laughs> All right. I'm a confused tree. So there, actually, I have a lot of weird tools here. So we're gonna have to think about this here. Four. So if we do this, this, that, that. that okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. If we do. I think this is right, yeah. Okay, I figured it out. All right. All right, interrogation room. Okay. I'm going to play a stealth strike to do that. I was thinking I maybe I should play the stealth strike, but I'm not. Look at this. I get to play this card. Um, then I'm going to, unfortunately, blow a strength on a rocket's pistol because it's the best thing for the moment. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. It's not about strength, is it? It's about the friends we made along the way. I know what I must do. Okay. Three charges here. All right, here we go. Two. I'm not worried about that servant bot. Guards only for the main, main yeah, guy. Yeah, that's right. Uh, two to this ghost. Mm -hmm. This ghost. And then four to the, with the portal cancer. Two to the main guy. Excess damage, draw a card. Oh. He's collected. Keep your secrets. Okay. Uh, and then interrogation room will fire to remove a threat. Okay. Oh, I got exhausted. That's less good. Then we'll play a reload. Stand these guys. Oh, get out of town. Yeah. I uh, hope I draw a double. That'd be cool. I'm gonna do two to yours. Okay, great. And then another another wham bam. You got it. So four, draw a card, and I'll hold on to this. Put it in my arsenal. Okay. This is fine-ish. Yeah, it's fine. Any round? Yeah. Oh, wait. I got to do these things. Um, oh, you have to use your stuff, right? You could exhaust and get rid of one of these. I can just exhaust to do that? Yeah, that's the other option. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. It's two thread or exhaust. I think I'm think. i about to remove three, probably. Can I do it alter ego, or is it only heroes can exhaust? Heroes. Yeah. But yeah, you could do it and go down if you wanted to. He's confused, so it would literally be these two coming at you. If you want to turn to like... Yeah, I would like to build some. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Let's get rid of that. This one, actually. Mine. Mine? <laughs> mine? My good one. And then we'll roll down, and then we can get rid of the particle cannon, maybe, or the, or the pistol. Uh, and then uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. We'll figure that out. Yeah. That All out. right, draw. Mm -hmm. Did you do the overkill the collector the second time? No. It's How two, many? Two more that way in that direction. All right. Now to 18. I'm about to be on a uh, let's just murder him as fast as human. Yeah, possible maybe that's thing. right. Yeah. I'm not there yet, but I'm close. Well, you got that. You're hard to ignore. So at this point, we should be able to manage things pretty yeah. well. I'm a pretty big tree. Don't know how to say it otherwise. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, first things first, two thread on. Oh, wait, we got this stupid thing still. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're just going to live with that, aren't we? For just now. Do a little light heroic. <laughs> That's right. Half of the old, uh, what we call it, super expert? Mm -hmm. uh, he is going to attack me. 
and I have to make a choice. You never draw the defense events when you want them. You're an alter ego. It's so guy. true, though. So, yeah, no, that's true. Uh, I'm going to block. Downside. I'm going to use one of my tokens to get plus three with my vines. Five to two plus. It's a ghost. How do you get in there? Spooky. Uh, I don't take any damage, so I'll remove three from the main scheme. Well, unflappable. I'll draw. That would have been nice to have. Uh, then take two to the growth. Then I take two, one here, one actual damage. What's up, though? Uh, hey, DC, looking to get into the game, what would you recommend for a newbie? you got to start with a core set, for sure. Yep. Start with the base game. And then I would look at either the Rise of Red Skull or Galaxy's Most Wanted. This one is very hard. Yeah. So if you like that, or if you like the Guardians a lot, it's probably a good box. Just know it's really difficult. And then uh, Rise of Red Skull is kind of a more universally avengers -y kind of experience. Cool. Have you resolved everything? I did. Over to you. Over to me. Collector's confused. Did it. Badoon is going to give me a villainous one plus. One plus zero. Nice. Servant bots on a one. Yeah. Three of these, that's helpful. Yeah. That buys us a little bit of time. It's certainly time. helpful. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this passes to you. You're up first, sweet rabbit. Well, what about our bad cards? Oh, uh, yeah. Dang we it. We need like three of those. I was trying to give us a real chance. Yeah. Here we go. Bring on the pain. Obedience potion. That's not bad. Kind of okay. And a crystal ball. That's kind of ah, okay, look at too. this flip. It's everything's coming up Millhouse. I'm sure this card will be just fine. Cloak of Hercules. Uh, lowest attack. Servant bot has got plus three. That's fine. We'll have to kill the servant bot. Deal. Or to eat. Now this passes to you. Thank you. This is our turn. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Uh, the giant's about to get body slammed. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play weird. I it think is. it's time to play weird. Right? Okay. I can stand you up. That'd be helpful. Give me a Actually, wait. No, times. maybe I can't do that. Let's, uh, let's take that back. How are you on that crystal ball? What are you thinking about that? You got a three that you can play? You don't play threes? Oh, a three coster? Yeah. I thought you meant a three thwarter. No, I still know. No. Bunch of zeros and ones. Zeros and ones, man. It's all just zeros and ones. All right, I'm going to discard this. To draw, draw two? two yeah. yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play my game. Oh, of course, you're drawn to the backpack. Hilarious. Okay. Now, what does standing you look like in the grand scheme of our chances? How's that look? You like that? It's not off. I mean, I get to swing or something. You're not convincing me. Well, I can get rid of one of these cards for it. The, the growth count is really what's useful. Yeah. Thrara and Afana. Okay. I'm going to roll up. Yeah. Kill his servant bot. Let's kill this. They're going to kill that poor woman. Okay, the things that I need to do here are plentiful. Let's do two to this thing. Okay. And then uh, I think I'm going to floor the fauna on me. Sure. I'm going to ready. Uh, place two charge counters on an upgrade and ready. So there's two more charge counters. And we're going to do two to the servant bot. Nice. Gonna, like, body that guy. Excess damage draws me a card. Interrogation room removes a threat from a scheme. Is it time for a crystal ball? Can you get there? I can get there. I just have nothing to do with it. That's mm. not necessarily true. Let's just go. Let's go crystal ball. We're just going to ignore this, right? What's a card? What makes a man? Okay. Three, four. Three, four, seven. Two, four, six, seven. Three, four. Three, four. 
What's happening, man? You know? You I don't that? know. Or... Yeah, okay. Okay, hold on. Now maybe this happens. This. This. Okay. That does that there. So then we're at seven. That's a seven getting out of here. We play this. And then we use that. So that's interesting. I'll tell you something, man. It's all very interesting. Angela, yeah, rockets of weapons don't self discard. Okay. All right, I've got an idea. Let's try it. I don't know if it's right. I'm going to play the thruster boots. Mm -hmm. um, we pay for that with a four justice, as much as I like it. Then. We're going to thwart for three onto the crystal ball. And we're going to have a plan. Uh, to stand up and get plus one thwart. We're going to do it again. Thwart that one out of the game. Play a sense of justice. Nice. That's fine. Or, ooh, no, I think this is actually better. We'll play a heroic intuition, and then we'll use the sense of justice to play a multitasking. Mm. Who's got time? Two and two. Two and two. Yeah, that's a good turn. It's a fine turn. Yeah. So now I'm at fourth ward. You know, so permanently. Yeah. Forever. Yeah, I like that. Okay, mine. Yeah, there's just a collection. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna use my genius and take a damage to get rid of this. Mm. I think I forgot to take a damage last time I did that. One, two, three, four. I'm going to play a Fruition to get my two growth counters. Only at seven. Only at seven. I'm going to play... a Depth Focus. I'm going to use it to play a Lashing Vines. Um, so basically, I can when I defend, I can lose two growth counters to ready. Cool. That's good. Which is yeah, useful. Fair, fair. Then I'll pass the end of the turn. All right, pass on. How much defending do you think you're going to be doing this turn? Depends on what I draw, don't you know? <laughs> yeah, I do. Three, four, five. Five. <gasps> Hit everything you needed, I'm sure. You know what? Actually, I did. All those defense events. It's actually just fine. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is good too now. Two threat on. Okay. Okay, so he is attacking you. That's right. I've got a one plus a boost, and I've got a two plus a boost coming my way this time. I'm going to block with Groot and play some cards. Okay. So First, you're now the defender. I'm going to react with this hero response. This here? After, I don't know when this happens, but I'm doing it. What does it say? After, before, when? After Groot uses a basic power. Yeah, it's right now. You so, just used it. Yeah. yeah. Now I also have some interrupts. Uh. I'm going to play. Uh... Important to remember. When you're having trouble balancing your interrupts and figuring out the right order, or the pronoun you, or even how to defend, it's important to keep your brain lucid and moist. With 48 ounces of pure H2O from our friends over at Nalgene.com. Right. 100% ACPE food grade plastic. And if you are feeling frisky, you can ask for the Covenant Wet, Wet Brain, brain Edition, edition. Uh, which is not available commercially. I'm going to play Never Back Down. Doesn't hurt to ask. Into this same chain. So plus two, and if I take no damage, he's going to be stunned. Easy. So two plus zero. I don't take damage. He's, he's stunned. stunned. And you're hard to ignore. So three gone. Yep. And unflappable. Is this what winning feels like? Perhaps it is. Um, then this guy is attacking you. I can take that. Nope. Oh, yeah, nice. And I didn't take damage. I don't have that thing out yet. Do I? Not it's yet. exhaust, right? Build a better mousetrap. Exhaust, exhaust. So I think I need to protect you so that you don't have to go down. That's well, like you know. Mission one. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to block. I mean, I can also get rid of it. I mean, we're so low on threat. Like, me going down and, and having a scheme is not a problem. Because I'm going to have to get rid of this pistol. Well. Etc. Can't you... 
Can you not play a card if you already have it, or can you play and then discard it? Like if you, I think you can play other weapons and then choose what to discard. Yeah, you could. So you don't. If have I to. ever had the problem of having too many weapons out, yeah, I'm that saying would be awesome. You don't have to discard it with your ability. Is what I was confirming. I don't have to draw two, you know, but yeah. I would love to. Yeah, of course. Um, Put it right there in their collection. So my problem is that like I'm gonna. Pistol? I I need growth counters, and I'm out of ways to get that on my turn. So I have to go down to do that. Right on. Okay. That's why I'm hoping to give you a turn where you don't have to go down. I mean, like I said, I can take a lot of attacks right to the right to the, the, the raccoon key. brain. Well, I have the option here. So I think I block because he's stunned. So when he tries to attack me, he's just going to fail. Mm, I'm going to block. And we're going to play a desperate defense. So then he's villainous, right? Shazam. Yeah. One plus... Uh, after this activation ends, reveal this card. Ugh, biogram image. Okay. What happens now? She successfully defend is a two damage attack. Yeah, hold on. It. Attach the collector. When collector would take any amount of damage, put this card face up in the collection. Prevent all damage that would be dealt. And then place threat onto the main scheme equal to the damage prevented this way. So we need to do one to it. So I don't take any damage. That's right, you don't. So I'm ready. And then that's the end of that. Yeah, done. Then Rocket. he tries to attack me and fails. Done. Then this guy is attacking. Two damage, no card. So I'm just going to take the two damage because I'm going to go down and heal ultimately. Um, bad cards? Bad cards. I get two. Wilt! Give to the Groot player. You can flip to Alter Ego. Cool. I Good want to you. do that. That's not a... That's like the... Fine. Okay. Um, that's fine. View the Cosmos I got here. So I can either put the highest cost card from my hand face up into the collection, or I can discard the highest cost and place threat on the main scheme equal to its cost, which is going to be three. It is my beat cop that they're taking from me that I'm very devastated about. Uh, so three onto the main scheme seems better than another card in the collection. I'm, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm into that. Just saying. Okay. I viewed the cosmos. You found it. Mine? Yeah. Oh, no. Touch the new lowest scheme. Oh, great. The shake weight doesn't go on the collector this time. Oh, good. The what's that called? Vandarian Power Wand. Vandarian Power Wand. All right, end of round. First player token passes. Uh, what's uh, trap saying? I, I said this earlier, but I'll say it again. You know, you guys have the side scheme expert challenge side up. I thought you guys were doing the standard challenge. We're doing the standard campaign expert mode. Yep. Yeah. Which apparently is supposed to be this card. So the challenge is the mode, and the campaign says because it says expert mode only, not expert yeah. campaign only. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's. First player token passes to me. Yeah, you can have it. <laughs> yeah, thanks. It's all yours, man. Um, I'm going to use this to get two growth counters. Then I'm going to play Fertile Ground. Use it to get a growth counter and draw a card. We got to kill this guy, man. He's got a plusy card now. I agree. Uh, I'm going to flip up. I'm supposed oh, to I get a card. doing damage, right? Maybe that particle cannon is important. Uh... Then I will pass to you. Oh, wow. You can go down if you need to. We're hosed. Are we? How many cards you got in your hand? One? One. Um, well, uh, I've got a four justice that I can play. That's interesting. And then... Um, I mean, I can remove eight is the thing. That's pretty sweet. Like, just from the main... Hmm. You wanna... Thing, yeah. I can't do the... the I can't do that thing. This I can't do. So we're gonna have two extra cards here. And we got a scheme, scheme... Scheme, scheme. So you got four schemes, three with boost cards. That's if not, you go down. It's not good. Yeah. You can stay up, though. 
I'll hope to defend everything. Are you up? Are you staying up? Well, I'll re- I'm in hero, yeah. I was down. I got flipped down by the obligation. Oh, right, right. right. Okay, so I got so my growth counters. You're, you're up here. So I think we just stay on target. Stay on target. Okay, I'm going to pay two to get this into my discard pile. And I'm going to salvage for justice to remove four and get particle cannon back on top. Because you need the cannon. And we're going to remove four from something. I think it's just got to be the main. I will have a three coming automatically. Whatever you decide to do. Yeah. Well, let's just start working it down, right? Yeah. So four here. And then I'll swing in for four here. Yeah, I like that. And then I will pistol for two here. You know, just start working on some things. I'm work, working on some work, things. Work, work, work. Working on some things. Done. Okay. And do it. You wanted me to stay up? Do we want to stay up? I think so. And I have to hope I draw something to stand myself. Because if I don't, if I don't, I can roll down. You're going to remove three from the thing. I think that's fine. And then I can discard this pistol, draw two cards, and I, I think we. I think I should go down. Okay. Yeah. It's just, we just have to abide. Because I'm going to have to play this particle cannon. Three, four, five, six. There we go. Okay, that's okay. That's just okay, man, really. All right. Uh, two thread on. Two thread on. One, two. Okay. Um, he's attacking me. I'm at three. I will pay pay him. Pay dead man. Uh, we're gonna play desperate defense. So go to five, block. He's at two. It's always desperate these days. Three, four. Yeah. I ready because I don't take damage. I move three from there. All unflappable. You got a little engine over there, man. Yeah. Once yeah. it gets going, but I got to have time to do it. Your little train car. Uh, this guy's going to attack me, and I will... It's interesting playing this, though. It seems fun. It is. It's really cool. This is really annoying to deal with him, but it's really powerful once he's rolling. I'll block for three, not take any damage. Nice. And he's scheming against you. Three plus. Oh, how about a psionic ghost? I was hoping you would say that. Yeah. We'll do three there. And then, uh, Bidoon Hunter, give me a flip, a one plus there. Zero. Take one. And then psionic ghost for two. Then we get our bad cards. Two apiece. Hmm. Hello. Playing heroic again. It's wrong. The Beyonder's Blazer. Attached to the enemy with the highest scheme. Two. Three. That's right. I forget he's an enemy up there. What happened to our sprint? Were uh, we going to sprint or something? Well, no, after this, it was this game that I said I'm about to be in sprint mode. Okay. Hero action plays two throughout the main scheme and spend two resources to discard this card. Otherwise, amplify one. How about that? That's pretty good. Magical teapot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Perry defeated it. May heal four? I don't mind if I do. I'm a magical teapot. How is seven even a fair number? It's like they're all, it's everything's so chunky. It's just they amp the numbers by like five. Everything got to dial. Star up. Shark, here we go. Quick Strike doesn't fire. Who's laughing now? And Assault, card gain surge. That's if right. I'd been in here, man, I would have been toasted. Five ways from toasted. That's right. Got off guard. It's got an upgrade or support. Well, but that pistol's looking pretty okay. I don't know. It's two cards, though. Interrogation room versus rocket's pistol. Two cards in the collection and I draw two cards, or one card in the collection and I draw none. That's the question, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Go to eight. It's fine, right? All right, dude, I'm not gonna draw cards. You've got it, you win. You win, game. I can't play my character, you win. Congratulations. All right. That's the end of the round, though. Yeah. So here you go. Hmm. Now I get to do things. OK. 
Okay. All right. Oh yeah, the pistol comes up here. All right. All right, all right. You know what? No, no, I refuse. <laughs> I'm playing my game. They can't take it from me. I'm gonna trigger this to draw two cards. Long hair, do not care. Okay. You're a Lebowski, I'm a Lebowski. So I'm gonna draw a shot on the forward there. Apparently you didn't. I did not. No. The forward is not shot and... Okay, how do I do excess damage? Well, that's one way. It's all so expensive. Why is everything he does so expensive? Anybody know? Why why is this so expensive? He's a raccoon. He's supposed to be like stealing stuff out of trash cans and eating hot dog buns. He's hardly hardly has the money for all these guns. What is happening? I don't know. I don't know what for. Mm -hmm. Take care of Blink. Uh, yeah, so we're about to get Biogram too with this overkill. I need to draw cards. Mm hmm. Two. Stealth Strike. The Dune Headhunter has got to go. He goes to victory. Hey, does this Vendarian power wand, if the Badoon Headhunter goes to victory, surely this goes with it, right? Don't cards go where they're supposed to go with their friends? They don't. If I kill these minions, we're going to lose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can kill one minion. Why does this make me so sad? It's like every every denomination and thing happening in this encounter is anti all of my cards. You ever feel that way? You ever come across it and it's like, I think they designed this one to just make me lose. Okay, Stealth Strike. Coming at you. Hey, uh. Figure it out. Ready to go home? I don't think. I don't think I can actually do the pistol thing without losing. You ever feel that way? So his victory. I'm gonna do this. I'm putting these Does guys that back. That makes you feel better. I took a shot. I did timely take a shot at Schadenfreude. I'm taking it back. All right, we're here. Rocket's pistol's going away. Interrogation room's coming back. Because I was looking at it, it's like if I kill more than one minion, we lose the game immediately. Yeah. Now I can get rid of, rid of one of these right now. This here, where? But it's like this is growing. That's growing. That's not going down. So if you look at the levers of the game. It's like we're in a room that's sealed off and the water is slowly dripping in and you yeah. can just see the water get into the point where we're no longer going to be able to exist. And I've got this tiny little bucket and I'm trying to pitch yeah. the water. No, but the thing is you're picking the water up and dumping it over here but we're in the yeah. same room. Yeah. And they gave me the bucket with a hole in it. Yeah. It's a leaky bucket, this character right now. Yeah. 
At some Actually, point, you just submit. A leaky bucket. Do you want to heal off this? Not really. No, I don't care. So, I don't even want healing. Next week is Doctor Strange and Captain America go on a spaceship. Just kidding. Is, uh... The tech seems fuzzy. We just... You, you saw us focus it. I mean, I can try it again. Does it look okay to you, Zach? The screen looks fine to me. Huh. It was awfully quiet and off, and then it got lively again. I don't know, man. I think the... It's like everything's at... I have all my stuff's at four and six breakpoints, and I've got sevens and fours, and I need to be doing extra damage to draw these cards, you know? But if you do extra damage, you kill stuff, and then you kill stuff, you, you, you know what you want. I feel like Rocket is such a liability in this scenario. So bad. Rocket is so bad in this. Yeah. On Expert, especially. But, alas, who cares? All right, I'm going to do four off of the Gallery of Splendor. Oh, no, wait, you've got to, you can't have your, you don't want your cards taken from your hand, do you? I'll see if I can, I don't. Yeah, you're right. I can do it from the, uh... but you know. Can you play them all somehow? In fact, I can do this on your turn. Okay, great. But what, what I'm going to do, I can do on your turn. So I'm going to remove four here and then we'll take it. Take a pick. I feel like Skilled Investigator is better on you because you're going into the defense step usually when this is firing, like, I'm going to fire it at the end of this phase and you'll have an extra card to defend with. Is that okay? Well, I would draw back up anyway, right? That's true. Yeah. So if anything, it's just the ability. Are you going to have one awkward card in your hand? I guess it doesn't matter because it's going to take it from you. It's the Cavalier yeah. Splendor. This is the, this is the trick. I'm gonna have I'm gonna work to have no cards in hand. Work, 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 work. Working on working on some things. Okay. Uh I still need a little bit of cash is my problem. Just a little bit. Alright, sure, let's do it. How about that? I'll just do it. I'm doing the original thing that Back I did. Back in, okay. Yeah, you just gotta work through it sometimes, you know? Okay. Um, rocket launcher is gonna do this. This is gonna happen. We need to find a way to make this work out. So, if we do this. Oh, and we've also got, we can also always, of course, play the, play the meta this so what happens if this happens it's not enough it's not enough I'm trying to make mashed potatoes out of eggs <laughs> do you know what i mean That'd be some now, hold on a potatoes. second. I may, I may have... No, I don't have... I don't have it. Okay. Different plan. Okay. New plan. You excited about it? No. It's a garbage pile. It's a literal can of garbage. Oakley dokely. Um, But... I'm going to do it anyway. This taking a card from your hand is really causing me issues. Yeah. I could do all the math if it wasn't for this variable right here. Maybe we should just mess with this one. Why don't you just pull off of the main? That'll let me flex down. Because look at all these plus cards. Yeah, that's a problem. We cannot live on more than heroic. Things have got to go, man. All right, let's start off. Salvage, particle cannon, boom. What's that do? Start there. Four damage. Overkill. Ranged. Okay. You got the floor and fine. I do. Yeah. That's relevant to our interests. I had originally planned on using it, but I'm yeah. not. That, your guns are more important. Well, are they though? I'm just ready to get rid. It's fine. It does not matter. 
Trust okay. me when I say that. And then we do... <laughs> I, Are I you clearing that? I believe you. I am, but I'm trying to do it really cleverly. Like a, like a good, a sweet rabbit. That's right. Uh, but there's really not, there's really nothing here for me unless... I'll tell you what. Can you floor and fauna me? Absolutely. Well, let's get that going. Are we going to lose, though, if we do that? Probably. This guy goes to the... And then that guy goes to the... So that's fine. That's fine, yeah. Floor and fauna me. So I'm going to do four to this thing. You got it. It's going to take it to six. And then I'm going to do four more. You got it. And it readies. Does it add any charges? Uh, yes. Two charge counters. All right. And he's gone. He's gone. He's in the victory pile for good. Excess damage to this me. This goes here. Excess damage? How much? I, got, I did three. Uh, Is three that overkill? Yeah, so doesn't that may mean he uh, he blocks it all and then uh, stuff happens? Place threat on the main scheme equal the amount of damage. Oh, no, it. we lose. No? When he would take any amount of damage, put this into the collection. Oh, before that happens, I'll take my hero action sure. and discard this card. Yeah. Then this happens. And then he puts three on. It's cool. And then I'm going to pay two. I don't have cards, by the way. You can do this now. All right. Cool. I'm going to pay two to get rid of a collector card. Yes. How yes. about a pistol? Was there, any, was there any tech I could put on the top here that I missed? Sure, we'll put a battery pack. I mean. It's cool. It's cool. Here's, here's something I honestly think. And then I'm going to play a stealth strike. Okay. A three, one with the power of justice. Deal four here. He's going to the collection. Who needs that? We got all these cyanic ghosts over here. And then we're going to clear that. May as well call this the graveyard. Get it? Like two spare cards are away. Yeah, we're going to put those in a pile because they ain't going anywhere. It's the worst thing in the world. Only nine cards in the collection, though. That's right. More bars in more places. And then skilled investigator is going to fire. Come on. Oh, wait, I put that up there. I know what that is. Oh. Uh, and then I'll, I guess I'll hold on to hold on to this one. All right. And a brown. Yeah. That was productive. We definitely didn't do nothing. That's what you mean. I. You know what? I concur with you. Interesting. Are you going to be able to deal with Star Shark? He does indirect damage. What does that even mean? That you put it where you want it? Right. I guess that's better, technically. But... It, well, then doesn't, I put it where I can put it. Doesn't doesn't much matter, yeah. One, two, okay. three. Interesting. Four. Five. Okay. So, uh, two threat goes on. One. Two. He's attacking you. Yeah. I'm going to block. Okay. And I'm going to do some things. First thing I'm going to do is trigger this. Remove two growth counters. Ready, group. Right on. I'm also going to... You ready to, him now? Yeah. Uh, remove a growth counter and get plus three. So I'm at six to his two plus an extra boost because this has whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Give the villain an additional boost card. <laughs> plus four. So he's at seven. <laughs> Which means I take a damage. He's at six, he's plus six. Plus that. He's plus six, so this is a two, and that's a four. So he's actually swinging for eight, if you can believe it. Oh, so I take two. Yeah. Because my six was not enough. Relatively easy to ignore, I would say, this yeah. time. Yeah, very easy. But yeah, that's fine. Uh, then, your shark's attacking you. My shark. I'm going to take three. It's indirect. I'll choose to put it all in rocket. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, then, uh, he's attacking me, which <laughs> I'm gonna of, I'm gonna take to the teeth. It's kind of fun now to watch. If it. I get a two, I lose. Yeah, you won't get a two. A one. That's right. You got to spend money to make money. That's right. You got to have a lot of. He's attacking me. I will block. Yeah. I don't take damage. So remove three from the main scheme. That's, I'll draw a card. That's when anybody's attacking you. It's not the villain. It's like villain attacking you. After here, hero defends an attack and takes no damage. 
All right, sounds good. And then we go to the bank cards, which we have three of. Only three this time. Could have been five. Could have been five, man. Oh, another star shark. Oh, no, I'm dead. I'll cancel it. This card. Yeah, it's right. Oh, How is there multiple star sharks? Do you think there's only one? One unique beast of that nature? Yeah, I mean, it's... Apparently not. Call it moon shark or something. Inconspicuous box. Doesn't do anything. For the lowest cost card, I control face up into the collection. Nine. Okay. That cool. would technically end the game. Yeah, it does. You got it. How many cancels you were you back? None. I got none more. <laughs> Eight cancels. Zero now. more. Let me see if I got any cancels. I don't have any cancels either. All right. Here's a new plan. We're gonna look at these new cards. Then we're gonna get out of here. All right. May not be able to pop them, but we can talk about them. Oh, we got them, didn't we? Yeah, we got them. They're in there. All right. Justice protection. Uh -huh. Not not doing it. Oh, yeah, you were amplified on the last attack, too. I think it was one plus the amplify, so it would have killed you. Mm, yeah, that nine ways. There's a lot of good there. ways to die there. I kind of like the creativity of the, of the scenario. Think that? I'll let you open this one. New cards. Are these going to be stronger than the ones we're currently playing with? Gamora is insane. Okay. You heard it here first. Let's pack it up. I get told, pack in. Are we going to have to go to standard? You want to go to standard? I think we're going to have to switch heroes. <laughs> yeah. Rocket is so nerfed in that one. It's really bad. He's a really good hero, but he is particularly bad in that scenario. It's very sad. Yeah. It's just a great, great question, Green Iguana. Exactly. Are you just supposed to not use the Guardians? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you're supposed to swap in and out, or maybe they cover for each other. You think there's one scenario in all of the Galaxy's Most Wanted that one of the heroes is bad against? I think the, I haven't seen more than two, so I guess I'll I'll not know. I may never know. That's right. I may never get there. <laughs> uh, some say they're still playing it. Um, it's tough. It's tough to manage what's what's going on there. Uh, you just gotta build for it. Well, I, I, honestly, you gotta build it, here's what I thing. here's what I feel. It's like Black Panther besides and stuff. angst and frustration, which is I think Black Panther Panther would be phenomenal. That's yeah, yeah, of course. Um, get there. It, it feels like it's kind of nice. The scenario was designed that it's the players' cards that go in the collection, not the collectors' cards that go in the collection. You think it was an oopsie? No, like truly they tested. I think if that, it was only the players' cards. That would be great, you know. I but like when I think about the pace of removing cards and it being annoying over here, it feels like a hindrance, not a complete dead stop. Yeah. Yeah, the math on it's pretty tough, man. I mean, you're, we're going to have to really just get uh, degenerate. Dude, I got some cards it. over here that you're going to love. You ready for this? Adam Warlock. He looks like your kind of cat. It looks kind of like me, doesn't leadership he? Leadership pack, yep. He's a 3-3, three, 1-1. Three, one, one. After he attacks or thwarts, discard a card at random from your hand. Okay. If that card's printed resource has a fist, remove three threat. Okay. A lightning bolt, heal three from your identity. Uh, mental, deal three to an enemy. Wild, choose one of the above. But if you literally attack with him when you have one card left in your hand, you get to pick that ability. Yeah, you get to pick the ability. This is the guy I think you're gonna love. It's pretty good. You ready for this? He's an Asgardian traded. Okay, Thor moment. Maybe He's Thor is the though. right one for this one. His name is Beta Ray Bill. Oh man, is it like Hacksaw Jim Duggan? No, look at this. He's like a fish looking Asgard guy. Honestly. Five cost, one threat, three attack, four health. Asgard responds after Beta Ray Bill attacks and defeats a minion and removes two threat from the main scheme. That's pretty good. He's a three attack. Yeah. Five for 12. If you actually get to remove two each time, he's five for 12 damage and eight thwart rem threat removal. That's Again, great. With like Thor, who actually wants to get the minions, that's actually pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I see you, Asgard. Then we get Yandu, Star Lord's poppy. Four cost, two thwart, one attack. His attacks gain ranged, so he ignores retaliate. That's insane. Four for that. That for a wait for. A, I wonder if you know. Sometimes as Google servers go down, are we about to have like a implosion of Google servers? Yeah. So hey, welcome Twitch, everybody. You're using a platform that is very good at managing bandwidth. Twitch. Good choices, everybody. 
But they fail at a lot of other things. Like Christian says, yeah. seems good now on YouTube. All right, we'll keep going. Let's carry on. Now, hold on. Give me. Can you uh, let me just read air supremacy to myself here? Yep. Two cost to run three up to action. You actually with the number of error cards you control. Deal three damage to each other's enemy. Well, it's got to be at least two. I don't know. This is like the conditional card of all conditional yeah. cards to me. I feel like he would definitely have to have an aerial hero. Must be an aerial hero. Yeah. So even one, like a Thor with his hammer, right? It's two for three. Which is horrible. Which is, it's starting to almost be playable. It's a haymaker. But if you have two, like a, a couple allies that have aerial, mm -hmm. or you're playing the sky cycle thing, that gives aerial as well. It could be two for six, which is good. You got two enemies though, so you got a minions right. out. Um, it's like a cake of conditions. You keep adding layers, and eventually, it's a delicious cake. Yeah. So you know, it's it's interesting. Blaze of Glory, max once per round event. You're going to like this. Hero action. Each Guardian character gets plus two thwart and plus two attack this phase. Wait, across the whole board? All the Guardians. Oh, well, that's phenomenal. That Inc should have been in their kit. In including the allies. Yeah, that's wild. Like, uh, Yondu is a Guardian. And, uh, oh, Adam Warlock, Ariel. See, this is one of those weird cards, though, where it's like, dude, if we're doing a four-player game... That card is... But this is the value on this card is so tremendously higher than a two player game. It's Agreed. Like, should be balanced yeah. a little bit, shouldn't it? Well, I think it's fine having some cards that are good and normal and great in multiplayer. Well, I'm just saying, like, you could also just do like cost equals X, X is equal to the number of players, mm. and it's thwart, attack, and cost. Super player kind of a thing. Yeah. 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 Uh, target practice, zero cost support. When an ally with a weapon upgrade makes an attack, this card target practice, that ally gets plus two attack. So you have to have an ally with. A weapon for plus two. Why are we doing that? Why would we ever do that? There'd have to be a lot of other stuff going on that I'm unaware. Oh, I see why. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Laser blaster, one cost upgrade attached to a guardian ally, max one per ally. Attached ally gets plus one attack and overkill. So as an example, Yandu, who doesn't consequential himself, oh, right. so gets just plus gotta, one buffies. and overkill. That now is suddenly a four with overkill on that swing. But honestly, just Yandu with a gun. Yondu with a Two gun. around for, for no good reason. Target practice is weird, man. It is weird. I mean, I get it. Like, it's one of these, they're they're trying to scale the game a little bit more where, like, you get three target practice out, and then at the, you know, the moment you get a plus six because you have a weapon on. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, it's fine. it's fine. Not against the collector, though. Cosmo. Yeah. He's a good boy. He's a guardian. Interrupt. When Cosmo attacks or thwarts, name a card type. Then discard the top card of a deck. If that card is of the name type, Cosmo does not take consequential damage. Okay. Do we have things that are manipulating the top of the deck? Well, sure. Rocket, I guess, puts the tech up there twice if per you, deck. If you run want, through. want to do that, yeah. You know what really made me happy? If he had a tech thing that generated two resources that you could recycle with salvage, that would mm -hmm. make me very happy. Yeah. <laughs> Cycle in the garbage. The CITT, uh, it's a vehicle. Exhaust it and spend two resources of any type. Ready a guardian character. Exhaust two, ready a guardian. That's pretty good. Yeah. Especially, it's kind of like a, what's that weird one that we never play? That you attach and then you spin two to ready at tenacity? But that's once. It's once, yeah. This is so this over is and over. better, yeah. Um, but like you picture like Blaze of Glory on one of your turns where you give yourself plus extra thwart as well. Right? So yep. like this gives you plus two for the round. If you use the thing that gives you plus two or whatever it is, that you, that card that gives plus one and readies you. Yeah, the end yeah. of the plan. All of a sudden, plan. This, this obviously the Guardians are sweet is getting built yeah, out. Cosmo, apparently, everyone's like a freaking out about how good Cosmo is. Can we can we ask why? What's going on there? You just avoid the consequential? There's nothing weird? No? You just avoid the consequential damage? Also, this deals the damage to all the Guardians. Yeah. So Doctor Strange, someone's saying? Yeah, that's fine, but like what's the power of the card, I guess? I Doctor Strange might get around the ability. Uh I think it's because he can discard the top card of the invocation deck. So discard the top card of the deck. Oh. So if you know what that is, you can call it right every time. And also cycle through your deck quicker. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That so tracks, yeah. tracks, tracks. Et cetera, et cetera. Nowhere with a K. <laughs> Uh, two cost location. Play only if your identity has the guardian trait. Increase your ally limit by one. Response after a player plays a guardian ally, exhaust nowhere. That player draws a card. That's fine. Two for I mean, it's a, yeah. That's a great. That's fine. Little. I mean, one. it's the same problem as just and anything else. It's like it's being able to draw a card after you play an ally is good. 
how many times is that going to happen per two cost? It's a good, I mean, it's always a good question. It's one of those cards that in this kind of a pace with Collector, I don't think you yeah. can build that long term. Yeah. I don't think that's a Collector card. I think this is, the CITT. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Pulse Grenade, weapon, mm, hero act, action, attack, discard Pulse Grenade, and choose an enemy. Discard the top two cards of the encounter deck, deal a damage to that enemy for each boost icon discarded this way. That's that's pretty good. That's okay. I wish it was tech. Sure do. Two for maybe four? I sure do, I sure do. Does it do it to all of them? Oh, just two in enemy. Does Scarlet Wish, has anybody stacked the top of the encounter deck yet? She's not stacking anything. She's just flipping cards and hoping it works out. Okay. Dive Bomb, Aggression, 4 cost event. Play only if your identity has the aerial trait. Hero Action, deal 7 damage to an enemy, deal 1 damage to each other enemy. Okay, that's about right. Appropriately costed, I would say. Yeah, that's that's good though. Yeah, Dive Bomb. Think about the 4 for Ultron seven. days. It's like do 7 to Ultron, do 1 to all his minions. Yeah, that's a huge Ultron card. Yeah. Uh, Agile Flight, play only if your identity has the aerial trait. Hero Action, remove a total of up to 5 threat from among schemes as you choose. Here's the aerial cards, finally. Three for five, divided as you wish. Yeah. Good in certain certain. It's all right. It's all Ever right. vigilant, cool art. Play only if your identity has the aerial trait. Hero action, ready your hero and remove two threat from the main scheme. Two for a ready. That's and good. Move. Super good. Yeah, that's really good. And then we've seen all the other cards minus, and we already looked at the Star Lord cards. Did we way, already? Way way back when we got preview. Long time ago, did we? What's his What's his shtick? He adds encounter cards to your pile, isn't that right? So, Peter Quill, three recovery, six hand size, ten hit points. Set up, search your deck, and discard pile for a copy of the, a copy of the element gun. Upgrade, add it to your hand. Let me go find it. Yeah. It's cool that they have. He's got a couple. Cool guns. Smooth talker, action, choose a card in your hand, swap that card with the top card of your deck. Which works with. Okay, so you always know the top card. Yeah. Right on. Uh, Star Lord side, each ally you control gains the guardian trait. That's important, right? What could go wrong? When you would play a card from your hand, deal yourself a face down encounter card, reduce the resource cost to play that card by three. So he gets a minus three, but he gets an extra encounter card to do it. Yeah, that seems good. It, it, I feel like early, ramping early, like he gets to play all the big bad stuff, right? Yeah, that that's like, you know, you have like one or two turns where you go crazy and then you weather it and then you start to curve out on top of the encounter, yeah. right? Particularly good if you're paired with someone like a Spider-Man who yeah. has a cancel built in. And yeah. it's like, you're just planning on someone canceling. Yeah. But that could obviously go wrong. Element gun, restricted, so you, know, you can have two. Hero action, exhaust element gun and spend a resource. Deal three damage to an enemy. That attack gains piercing. Okay. So basically, one it costs three, though. Once you play it, though, you can turn a resource into three damage every round. Okay, so it doesn't go away. It doesn't have charges on it. Right. Okay, that's good, yeah. And yeah. it's tech for... So Rocket can do things with that, or Iron Man can do things with that. Somebody was important. Was Iron Man tech, can. Yeah. Uh, it's also a weapon, so you can play the, like, weapon-based cards, you know, built in. Um, he has Nova Prime as his ally. Ariel, Nova Core. After, Look at that art. After you play Nova Prime from your hand, defeat a non-elite minion. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, these Excuse are all elite. Me? Yeah, that's right. So all these sevens are elites. That's, that's a good ability, though. That's really I think good. that's pretty solid. Yeah. Pay five, remove a minion, and then you have a, a pretty good ally in play after that. Point. Two, three. That's fascinating. Uh, Daring Escape, deal yourself a face down encounter card. Ready your hero and draw one card for zero. So you ready and draw a card, but you get an extra encounter card, and there's three of those in the deck. Do you spend a card? And you, so you spend a card, so it replaces itself, and you're ready. Yeah. But you get an encounter card. So basically, would you trade a ready for an encounter card? That's tough math. If... If my if I had a lot of stuff going on, yeah, especially if you were a rocket, you know, but you're yeah. not. Obviously, you you can't be a rocket. Yeah, you're Star Lord. Yeah, gutsy move. Two copies, two cost. Remove two threat from a scheme. Remove two additional threat from that scheme for each face down encounter card in front of you. Okay, I see what you're trying okay. to do, man. This is a way to lose the game easily. Uh, Star Lord is just nuking the board. Sliding shot. Play only if you control an element gun. Cost three. Deal five damage to an enemy. Deal two additional damage to that. To that enemy for each face down encounter card in front of you. There's three copies. See, this is the thing is like, so he's bringing in the breakpoints that matter on Collector. It's the sevens. Yeah. So he's able to sliding shot. He has shot two cards and pay three, do seven. Yeah. Yeah. He also has Bad Boy. This is his vehicle. Three cost. When you would take any amount of damage from the villain's attack, discard this card. 
prevent all of that damage, change to Alter Ego form, and draw two cards. Okay. I like the design. So it's of my three card. for a prevent all damage, switch forms, and draw two. It's not a bad card there. Uh, jet Boots, Starlord gains Aerial. When Starlord would take any amount of damage, exhaust Jet Boots, prevent one of that damage for each face down encounter card in front of you. Okay. Two costs. That's generally okay to, you know, heroic. You're on two cards anyway. Yeah. Leader of the Guardians, each Guardian character you control gets plus one fort. That's good. Then we get, finally, Starlord's Helmet. While you are in hero form, you get plus one hand size for each face down encounter card in front of you to a maximum of plus three. Hmm. Ooh, that's a tough one to evaluate. He, I, it's hard to hard to really make a clean numbers game on that one, which is I, good. It's I mean, a good sign. I think that's a very cool design. He's obviously extremely high risk, high reward. Like it, he's gonna he starts synergizing with himself. Even just the minus three discount once is interesting enough to take an extra encounter card early. Yeah. And he gets benefits for doing it, but at the same time, I feel like he's the kind of hero that you can get dunked on. You really you got to use that ability so sparingly. And I think a lot of his cards just aren't going to do much because you're not going to want to press the gas super hard. Because like I'd really want to use it to play a, like a Helicarrier, to play an Avengers Mansion, those kinds of things that are going to give us like long term game value. But I I wouldn't feel comfortable doing it for like an event unless it was like oh my gosh yeah game changing. This is the time because like you could use the ability sliding shot for free basically for seven damage, which it's pretty good. Could be important. Well, let's take a look at Gamora. I'm going to look at... Have you seen this? these cards? I, I saw some get posted, and she looks fantastic. So I love a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. I'm looking at the hero side here. Guardian, of course, has two abilities, Finesse and Precision. After you play an attack, remove a threat from a scheme. Or, and or, after you play a thwart, deal one damage to an enemy. You could do both. Yeah, once you could around. do both. Once around, yeah. yeah. Once per phase, rather. And then on the flip, Alter Ego looking great. Three, recovery, 10 hit points, hand size is 6-5, of course. As skilled tactician, you may include up to six attack and thwart events from other than your chosen aspect. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Just do the math. And then action, look at the top card of your deck. If it's an attack or thwart, you can draw it. Wow. And she gets to play six of each or six of one? Six of any combination. Yeah. So she gets to fish six out. Yeah. If she's playing justice, she can grab aggression. If playing aggression, she can grab justice. If she's playing leadership, she can grab both. Yeah. And then I, her kit has some that are both as well. So check that out. I imagine that's it. Nebula's the ally here, a 2-2. Guardian for two. So two's everywhere. After Nebula enters play, search your deck for one of those and add it to your hand. That's a phenomenal card. She's already just like immediately way better in my mind. Yeah. Acrobatic, more easy to appreciate, I should say. Acrobatic move, zero, deal two to an enemy. It is an attack card. So zero for two, if you're in hero form, you get a free thwart, right? For yeah, one? Yeah, you get a free minus one. So yeah. a two, one for zero is great math. Yeah, cool art too. Cross counter, attack, defense, and thwart. All three got the hot pocket here. One cost. Hero interrupt, all of them. When you would take any amount of damage, prevent three of that damage, deal one to an enemy, remove one threat from a scheme. So it's so, a combination of all the best events. And her ability is once per phase. So during yeah. the villain phase, that would become also remove a threat, do a damage. Yep. Yep. Wow. How versatile is this character? She's right? a mathematician, man. This is just good math here. Set the pace as a thwart. Remove one threat from a scheme. Do one, do one. It's fine. This is the weakest so far. Zero for one, zero for two. We can see where the math is, right? Acrobatics, yeah. zero for two, yeah. zero for one. We were right on. Early strategy guide, man. EUVs. Called it. A decisive blow. Deal four to an enemy or seven if you played a thwart event this turn. Phenomenal. Again, seven break point and four break point. Those are both really important for the collector. And if you have played a Thor event, incredibly good. So the Thor event does the damage. damage. If you play this, you're going to remove it. It's two for seven and removing. That's super good, man. And they're all like two or less. Yeah. So good. Four momentum, remove three from a scheme, five if you played an attack this turn. Great break. Points. Conditioning room, exhaust as alter ego action, one cost. Return the bottom most attacker thwart from your disco pile to your hand and heal one. Create little alter ego. Uh, it's a card and a heal one is yeah, great. Just awesome. Uh, keen instincts. One cost upgrade. Exhaust it. Generate a wild for an attack or thwart event. And there are two in this. And it does not matter what form you're in. Well, you can't play most attack or thwarts if you're in alter yeah. ego. But still, one for a wild resource for most of your cards. Yeah, that's such a good thing to have. It pays for itself immediately. Yeah. What's happening here? 
And the Gamora Sword, a three cost upgrade, restricted after you play an attack event, deal one damage to an enemy. That's fine. I mean, your attacks become plus one damage, remove one threat. She's got an interesting uh, ramp here. I think this is just going to be the awkward turkey in your hand a lot of the game. Yeah. It's like, ah, well, I could play three events here and do a lot, or I could play a sword and do one extra damage right now. And you're like, ah, you want to play the yeah. sword, but you have the time, et cetera, et cetera. So she's just like, in my mind, very aggressively good at the basics of the game. Yeah, man, let's play Gamora and Miss Marvel. Just sling events the whole time. We were slinging. All right, what do we got let's here? Let's look at the cards, yeah. What do we got here? Angela, Aldrif Odin's daughter. I guess that's Odin's daughter. The <laughs> daughter of Odin, probably. Yeah. I don't know fancy things about things. Zero cost ally got my attention. Zero thwart, two attack. After you enter play, you search the top 10 cards of the encounter deck for a minion, put it in a play, engage with you, shuffle the deck. Otherwise, discard Angela. So zero for a two damage that's attack. That's great. She's going to put Asgard and Guardian. That's great for Thor. This is built for Thor. So good. You basically pay zero, get a three hit point body, and draw two cards. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Clobber, standard attack, two cost, deal three to an enemy. If it's the first card you played, return it to your hand. So two for three, it's really only one for three because it comes back and you can use it as a resource. Yeah, it's there. pretty strong. Pretty strong. Very strong. Yeah. Plan of attack, it's just the top four or the top seven if you're an alter ego for an attack. Add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. So this is interesting because. It, it's you could just be running an attack event. I don't think card. I would ever play this. So unless you need a specific attack event, yeah, I would rather just have a different attack in my hand. Or, or if you have like weird like so Thor, the, that little weird Thor deck that I was playing has a very strange curve where it does like basically one three cost, mm -hmm. and so you oftentimes have one awkward card in your hand. It may as well be a plan of attack to go get a hammer throw or something. Yeah, that's which... right. So in that case, that's a very specific attack that you're looking for. Yeah, that is relevant. Like when you when you need a hammer throw. This becoming three more hammer throws is way different than becoming any of these. Yeah, true. Yeah, so I think in Thor, that's particularly good. That makes a lot of sense. I, assuming it's an attack event, I don't know how the... You know, it's been a while since I played Thor. Hammer throws got it. Uppercut. How many more of these do you need? Three for five. We get it. First hit. Hey, this is protection. There's Venom showing up. One cost Venom protection event. Hero action deal two to the villain. Hero interrupt when a minion initiation attack deal two to that minion. That's nice. Yeah. I like protection cards that you can play as an action or as an interrupt. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think that is important space for protection to evolve into. That's a good spot. Yeah, that's a good spot there. Impede. Two costs. Remove three threat. If it's the first thing you play, put it back in your hand. Two for three. Throw it back in. One for three. Math that's... is strong. Yep. The math is strong. It's got the all-important mental symbol. Combat training. Classic. Been down there. God Slayer. Another uh, weapon here. That's looks what's like. up. For Gamora, right? Mm -hmm. Restricted when your hero makes a basic attack against a unique enemy, exhaust it to give plus two. There's also something cool that could go on Thor, which I like. Yep. He does a lot of basic yeah. attacking. So, like, I think pretty much every villain we face so far is unique. Yeah. So that literally just becomes two damage, plus two damage against the villain every time you're swinging. Yeah. And then you also got some of the your minions that are unique, too, mm -hmm. which you can... All right, we got a Drax ally. Play if you're a guardian, cannot attack minions. A one, three, four. That to me is not worth writing home about, but it's good in the guardian kit if you're running all of those allies yeah, and like nobody's it. running that. Hit and run is an attack thwart. You deal two to an enemy, remove two from a scheme built for Nebula or Gamora. Looks good. Double yeah. uh, resources, obligation. I just want to be surprised. Uh, okay, that was all the pre built. So now we've got some interesting pivotal moment. Two cost attack for justice, deal two to a villain, or five if there's no threat on the main scheme. Well, I can't run it, but I love it. I love the idea of it. Yeah, so basically justice with attacks that are not good unless you've done your job really well. Yep. Love that space. Yeah, it's kind of a, some people will call it a win more situation, but also some of us uh, never you know, have the chance to win more. Justice having an event that removes is good. And then... It just does two, yeah. It's a two for two, or it's a two for five. Yeah. I almost need that to be a two for six. Yeah. With that kind of a condition It's, it's on the line. Because like, it doesn't help you if you're losing. Yeah. And all champions cards kind of need to, don't they? Like, I would also be comfortable with a two for three that goes up to a five yeah. in that event. So it's at least, like, playable when you don't have that condition met. But, you know. 
Comms implant, one cost upgrade for leadership here. Great art here. Attached to a guardian ally, it gets one, plus one thwart, plus one hit point. That's solid for the rocket leadership build. I like that. True Grit, a protection card here. One cost thwart. After hero defends against an enemy attack, remove threat equal to your hero's thwart. Okay, hey, that's interesting. Any defendy uh, characters with high thwart value? Man, Spider-Man doesn't Groot, does it? And then enhance reflexes. I'm trying to think about who has high thwart and defense. Cap's okay. Welcome to Cap. You and the Cap making it happen here. I don't even know if it's good enough. Is he a two? He's a two. Yeah. Black Panther's a two. I don't think we see a three, three, a three thwart, three protection. I mean, one for two. Defend. You just you'd have to be. Um, you'd have you'd, you'd have, have to be up to three for it to matter. Yeah, three three would have to be it. Spider Woman. Yeah. Spider Woman could be great with that. Because she can get like plus three or four counters. There it is. So then she's blocking for three or four and moving three or four with that. Spider Woman, apparently a Wasp as well. Mm. Not that we've seen Wasp since we unboxed Yeah, I think Wasp it. does have a big defense in court. Or at least a two. She's probably a two. All right, so what are we going to do? Let's talk about this. Let's work through this together as friends, as a team. As a team. Well, so Rocket can't, I, I, I can't do Rocket on this one. I feel like I just am uh, just digging a hole for myself every hand. Yeah. I, I feel like he's, his upside is, so you have low health, right? Yeah. And not great defense. And then your upside is that you have a ton of card draw and you defeat a ton of minions. But defeating minions is only so great. Yeah. And discarding is, is bad. Basically, it's all bad. Yeah. You don't want like four minions going to the collection and then... Yeah, yeah, see, you know. Yeah, so options for me are someone switching to Gamora. I'm definitely going to have to play Gamora. Yeah. Um, That's an easy, nice cruise for me on the on the spreadsheet. Yeah, and then I'm tempted to switch to Star-Lord just to do something that's not the same thing I've been playing this whole time. Yeah. To build decks for both of those and then see how we do. Yeah, that sounds good. We'll so, try it out. What's your... I mean, it's pretty crazy. Gamora's insane. Yeah, I'm going to play Gamora, but you know, what What aspect is like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, you get six cards from mm -hmm. things you're not playing. The best cards. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, if you're playing Justice, you can get the six best aggression attacks, as an example. Yeah. Or vice versa. Or you yeah. can play Leadership. Yeah, which pool basically has the best attack or thwart events, and then you go there. So you probably either play it in uh, red or yellow. Yeah, and then you grab the other. Yeah. Um, which then means I'm probably going to end up playing either leadership or whatever you're not doing. But I'm going to have to spend some time with Star Lord and I try feel to like figure that out. I should probably do yellow. I should probably do justice with Gamora. I feel like that was giving us some time. And then if you throw in those six aggression cards, it gives you the ability to kill minions. Yeah. And so you can do how, like, I can be on threat and minions. And then if we can get, you know, if we can kind of get past those two. So then I'll be on damage. Yeah. Lots of damage. And you just might have to draw 17 encounter cards to do it with Star-Lord. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna need time with this. This is a weird pool. Yeah. We're going to have to pay attention. All right. Hey, send us some deck lists, would you? Yeah, Somebody, that'd make my you know, life easier. On like the YouTube uh, comments or what have you, attach a deck list or two, and I'll look at them and I'll play one. I play. Uh, I play the whatever Gamora deck list looks the best. I'm playing it. It's done. So even if you're watching right now live, we love you. You're. I won't say our favorite, but secret. We appreciate you. Our favorite. I will say this. Wait for the video to go and then come back in. And as many stunning and confused cards that we can play, we should. Yeah. Especially confused. I think Gamora is going to be like the stun confused master because you can get all of the events that like confuse yeah. and stun. Yeah. You know, a classic. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, we'll try it out. Thanks. If you have any deck lists, put them in the comments. Thanks for joining us. If you're also uh, playing Guys and Most Wanted or you're new or whatever, just know it's very difficult. It's very difficult. Very difficult. But we, We've been playing all sorts of uh, crazy challenges through the game throughout its history. And we don't even have to create anything for this one. Just literally take it on the medium level. Not even expert campaign, technically. Yeah. We're playing on probably medium yeah. is how I would define it. And it's hard. And it's very hard. We're playing on medium, and I think we're playing... It would be like if we were playing on Ultron and then choosing to play a character that was just bad against them. Yeah. 
which is how I feel about Rocket against Collector, which is a bummer because I feel like everyone will want to play Rocket and Groot into this campaign. Yeah, and they just get stuffed. I, <laughs> yeah. Or maybe we're just bad. You know. It could, it could easily be that. Could also I'm a be simple true. mathematician when it comes to these games, and maybe I'm not playing with enough heart. We'll see you next week. Hey, if you don't know about subscriptions, we have them. You can get all your products through us. We've also got the uh, tokens and, and boards we've been using. That's cosmic, right. Cosmic Apparently we're out of stock, though. So yeah. sign up for the wait list. We sign restock that regularly. Thanks for being around, guys. We'll see you next Monday. When are we going to start Arkham again? Well, when everyone gets Enzma. All right. Application. Goodbye. <laughs>